This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Pilgrimite, Massachusetts, the little fishing hamlet on the American East Coast, celebrates its quadricentennial, 400 years since its settlement on the banks of Hog Island Sound, an area famed for, you guessed it folks, an export of the pork variety. But onto every golden brown ham must a few briny tears fall. The sudden passing of American pork magnate W.M. Bleeker has locals pining instead of dining. Save a couple of strips of bacon for the wake, fellas. The untimely death has drawn regional attention, including claims of anti-union antipathy and even animal mistreatment. Activist Evelyn Virginia Margaret Madison arrived to crack the whip, but naturally never on a horse's behind. Meanwhile, law enforcement and even private detectives like this tall frick of crime here are making sure there was no foul play. Hopefully they'll get to the bottom of this tragedy, right down to the curly little tail. And don't look now, comedy lovers, but even burnt-out silent screen legends like Charles Priest are throwing their fez into the ring. Yes, Priest has been spotted in Helgramite, far from home in Hollywood. Is he vacationing or looking for work? Try to stay out of trouble, Charlie. For now, it looks like Donald Bleeker, WM's cute-as-a-piglet son and erstwhile mascot for Bleeker Co., will be managing Papa Piggy's business through this hardship. Oink oink, meaning best of luck to little Donnie and his deceased daddy. Welcome to, is this audible? Oh, there it is. Welcome to Acquisitions Incorporated, Call of Cthulhu. I was Chris Straub, but tonight I am your keeper and here to introduce my victims. <laughs> Ah, table order. Here we go. Uh, playing the part of Omen Drawn, Jerry Holkins. <laughs> and as Donald Bleeker, Ryan Hartman. This is not a problem. As actor Charles Priest, Arnie <laughs> Niekamp. <laughs> and as Evelyn Madison, Anna Prosser. start our story in, as I said before, a small fishing town in Massachusetts, Helgramite, which is the name of the most popular lure there. <laughs> um, you have been called, Donald, you've been called back home because you do not live there. It is a small, yucky town, and you're a big city boy. Mm -hmm. Big you're, fancy boy. You're back because of a family tragedy. <gasps> it's true. It's true. Um, but let's set our scene outside 
the bleaker pig and creosote company's uh, head offices, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where we see Oman John over there. It's me. And I believe that you are also there, Donald, and Charles. Hello, yes. Sure. Yeah. I'm here to uh, follow along, do some research on an upcoming uh, silent film. I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, and, and the uh, production house believes that uh, if you're able to observe my uh, private investigations, that it'll create a more realistic interpretation of these events for your picture? Yeah, every one of my silent films really f has to focus on some common man and some occupation. And then I come in and I do some goofs and I do it badly, but I like to know how to do it well before I do a silent film about doing it bad. How, how do you take this, Donald? Yeah, because so you're here because of a, of a tragedy, and this seems like a pretty so I arrive conversation. I arrive. I know you. I don't know you. <laughs> you but you probably are. Yeah, but I don't, though. With my and work. I go, uh, are, you the, are you the private dick that I hired? Uh, 20 yeah. slang. 20 slang. Yeah. I write that down, and I'm like, oh, private dick. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, Mr. Bleeker. Well, everything seems to be in order. Who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm Charles Priest, beloved international silent film star. But he's, he's my assistant. Oh, all right. So, like, like a janitor or...? No, look, just, uh, I'm just a fly on the wall here to observe, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, like, a janitor. Yeah. 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 His, his discretion is assured, sir. Okay. Your family is in pork. You're familiar with flies on the wall. F accurate. <laughs> You're a smart, smart janitor. All right. Yeah, there's a little matter we have to look into. Yeah. Uh, it's a small matter. Should, should I get my magnifying glass? Yes, please. Uh, a, uh, um, an officer of the law uh, emerges from the, the front steps of the office building and is tucking a magnifying glass back into his pocket <laughs> and, and shaking his head and uh, uh, approaches you, Donald, and says, uh, are you the boy? I, I am the man. <laughs> I thought I recognized you. <laughs> You're the more pork on your fork boy. I've uh, seen you on the cans. <laughs> yes. It, yes. It's been many years. I assume I'm like the Gerber baby of pork products. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm big now. I, I can't resist. <laughs> I can't resist. And he just gives you a little boop, poking your tummy. And I giggle. God help me, I giggle. <laughs> it's built in yeah, now. Yeah, I can't not. And I recognize you from the other can that has you as a baby, but like a pig is pulling on your diaper. So yeah. like your butt's sticking Yeah, out. my butt's sticking out. Like copper tone. Yeah. yeah. That's for it's, the creosote. It's like, yeah, there's that image and it says, every can a feast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 these gentlemen with you, we have something important to show you. Uh, yes, he is, and he's with him. It's but he's not with me. Yeah. And I need, that has to be made up very clear. I need to follow uh, some kind of protocol. I then you go in, I'll follow you, he'll follow me, and he'll follow him. What are you? Yeah. Who am I? Speaking Latin here? Come on. Same old boy. Uh, so yeah, he, he, he leads you up the stairs of uh, this office that you've, uh, you've spent some time in as a child and then less as a, as a rowdy grown-up. Uh, it's in a lot of disrepair. They take you up the steps, uh, the velvet of this carpet, the sheen, is all, it's worn down with, with track. Uh, he takes you up to your father's office uh, opens the door, but before pushing on through, he says, I have to warn you, are you afraid of the sight of a, of a dead father? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Terrified. <laughs> then I, uh, I, then I, I put uh, a hand on your shoulder, and I say, you are paying me to look at this. 
It's true. And you do have your magnifying glass. That's right. I come prepared. All right. I pull out a comically large magnifying glass. Just, I'm just very pleased with myself. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> See you in an entirely new light now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this guy's a real detective. Sitting Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> now you. <laughs> uh, okay. I go, yes, you're... Maybe you should go first. That's what you're here for. We can, I'd be happy to take this off. All right, so he opens the door all the way. Inside, uh, oh, forgive me, just outside in the hallway, are now coming this direction, uh, is you, Evelyn. You, have, you are uh, having an argument with, or you were having an argument, which we can play out right now, with, the, uh, with Mr. Bleeker Sr.'s uh, assistant, mm. who is not able to answer the questions you're asking. Well, I'm just really sorry to be so pestering at a time like this, but you know that horse welfare waits for no one, and Mr. L.A. Thander really believes that it is so important that we all take the time to consider our fellow animals' well-being, and I just feel like it's not a very hard question to answer whether there might be a few horse bits mixed in with the pork. Look, lady, like I already told you, all of our pork is ethically sourced. Ethically sourced. <laughs> Sauced. As long as it's not... <laughs> as long as it's sourced and not horsed, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get it. And also... <laughs> well, and then I guess I, I would see these... Few. Yeah, at that point you're seeing them. Oh! It's the pork can boy! I'm so sorry for your loss! And she runs over and presses your hand. I just... I'm so glad you're here to oversee operations. I'm sure that you will just continue to run this company in such an ethical way, and I'm so sorry to hear about the loss of your father. And have you heard of L.A. Thander's Society for Equine Welfare? May I tell you about it? I pull my hands away. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you until you say that. I'm like, yeah, I know who he is. Any more people going to hang out and look at my dad's dead body? Or <laughs> Oh, so you heard about it. I'm sorry, kid. <laughs> yeah, everyone keeps telling me about it. <laughs> I got work to do. <laughs> it's uh, I just poke my head in to say, don't mind me. I'm not, I'm not here. I'm, <gasps> I'm internationally famous, I know. I know who you are. Yes. It's very nice to meet you. I'm just a little overcome. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just researching for a new uh, silent film. You, oh. I show her, like, the giant magnifying glass. <gasps> <laughs> Making it obvious. Yeah. You know how it is. Yeah. It's, too, it's funny because it's, it's too big. I have just... <laughs> <laughs> I totally see it now that you've explained it. I get why that's hilarious. You're, you're shadowing um, Mr... Uh, Mr. Drawn. Mr. Drawn. Very, I, have, I, have we met before? Uh, I don't believe so. Oh, huh, interesting. Well, uh, uh, more the pity. Well, certainly, yes. Um, anyway, I'm sorry to interrupt your investigation. Although, I, if you're already shadowing, I just... It, would you... Mind if I shadowed the shadow? Do you, do you want never... to shadow me? Yeah. I'm not opposed to a double shadow scenario. I mean, and, and we already have it worked out more or less. Uh, wherever he goes, I will follow him. And then shortly after me, we'll be yes. followed by him. And then <clears throat> uh, there is an opportunity. There is a shadow opportunity following him. I've just always dreamed of knowing what it was like to be a movie star. So I would love to... Shad I mean, maybe that could help me make some connections in the Hollywood world for our, our acting equine friends. Oh, well, you know. Oh, wait, you, you're looking for roles for, your, for the horses? No, 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 just, I'm, they have plenty of roles. You know, they are quite charming and uh -huh. charismatic themselves. But I just want to make sure that, you know, in movies, they're, they're uh, paid equal wages and, you know, have reasonable work hours, of course. I'm sure that you would always treat any horse in your pictures with the most impeccable Kindness. I just start looking into my giant magnifying glass. <laughs> what, like that? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, look at this. What's that up there? I hate to interrupt the conversation, and I hope the smell of my dad's dead body isn't, <laughs> like, you know, making it weird. And then I just go to the, the detective or the, the yeah. cop, and I'm just like, can we get this over with so I can get the money? I mean, so I can grieve? <laughs> 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 Mr. Bleeker, I would be happy to handle the grieving for you as well. Yeah. It's just a 
it's a it's a fee that we can attach to the rest of it. I should emphasize that that is not a real magnifying glass. Oh. Uh, I have a real magnifying glass. Oh. If you ever wanted, if you ever needed uh, to look at a small thing in more detail. Oh, I'd love to. Absolutely. Oh, thank you. Enjoy. She just starts looking at everything. <laughs> Clues could be anywhere. She uh, doesn't offer it back at all. <laughs> this one's not real. Like all art, it's just uh, you know exaggerating to make us think about what is a magnifying glass. Oh, like a metaphor. Yeah. You could look at his magnifying glass with your magnifying <gasps> glass. And after I set that up, I walk into the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and the, the police officer says, uh, this way, if you want to enter as well, oh. uh, but please try to have a little propriety. This, this man's uh, father is dead in there, and very dead, quite some time. Okay. And I'm torn up about it. Yeah. I, uh, I sort of let my pants, I let my pants drop to my ankles and I just kind of... <laughs> Is it a penguin a big, no, like, Comically sad face. Yeah. <laughs> you enter the room. I do. A, uh, it is a, a cramped uh, office with a large desk, uh, filing cabinets line the wall. Uh, not in a lot of a state of organization. You get the sense that there's... Not that it was tossed, but maybe tracks of what you remember of your father. He, uh, a harried man. A hairy man? A very like hairy him. man. Oh, so. And, his, and the constant shaving made him incredibly busy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there at the, uh, at the desk, in the chair, you, uh, you see the form of your father, uh, who is dead. There uh, is quite clearly a revolver on the desk in front of him. Uh, he, he doesn't look that dead. I mean, it's not like he's alive. putrefied. It's yeah. still alive. He's alive okay. still? Yeah. I go, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> nah. And we embrace. And we play catch. No, no, no. We've seen this before. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> Nothing works. Um, we, so, the, the officer says, uh, found him just like this, um, wanted somebody to come and identify it. Is this the crime scene? Sure. Standard police procedure. Of course. Uh, so he's slumped over the desk, everything was locked, gun next to his hand, single gunshot wound. It's just like you had said on the phone, this is obviously a murder, which is why I hired you. Murder? Yeah. This is a murder. In You're going to solve this murder. In what? <laughs> it's a murder? If it's not, I don't get the money. It's a murder. This is a, yep. You, Case you, closed. Can I, so I start going I'm, through drawers. Nod, so I like nod the sage, money. I nod, I nod sagely. Are you, are you said all that out loud? Yeah. Okay, yeah, the, 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 <laughs> the officer stops Re you. Really loud. The officer stops you and says, I didn't say anything about a gunshot wound. Yeah, you did. No, I'm pretty clear about that. And, and if you look at the body, I mean, there's no blood anywhere either. Mm. Wait a second, so there's a revolver here on the desk, yeah. and there is a dead person, but the dead person was not shot. Uh, that's correct. I guess this is act one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's like a time gun. See, that's that literary shit. Yeah. yeah. Are we still outside just looking at things through our magnifying glasses? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're hearing, hearing me yell about murder. <laughs> <laughs> murder, dad, murder, murder, dad. <laughs> and then just rifling through drawers. <laughs> So, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get up close here mm. and examine it. So I, now that he is, now I'm curious. Yeah. Now that he has said that there was no gunshot, but there is a gun, but there is a dead person. I'm ra I, want, I, I don't have all the information here. I feel like the math is missing a few variables. Uh, in, in common uh, Helgramite police force uh, protocol, he says, uh, we took all the pictures we need. Feel free to mess all this up if you want. <laughs> uh, pretty open and shut, as far as I can tell. Have at it. <laughs> what would you like to investigate? Uh, I'm. Um, I say, Mr. Bleeker, may I? And I have, I have my hand sort of like on the back of the chair. I'm. Uh, Jimmy and at the desk, and I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> I'm just going to grab the back of the chair yeah. and pull it two or three feet away from the desk. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see some of these dang rolls. What would this even be? I think it would be like a, um, it would just be a, a perception or equivalent. Mm -hmm. Some of this terminology is foreign. Yeah. Is, is, it, is it, is it, is it, is this is like, I'm trying to find a hidden thing, basically. Inception. Yeah, that, that would okay. work, yeah, spot hidden. Can do. That's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to roll these dice. Uh, I don't do it at all. <laughs> you do <laughs> not? No. Not at all. But I, I assume as I pull it back out, the body just collapses to the floor. <laughs> Yeah, is it, the, is it the looking you did poorly or the yeah. pulling? Well, the, the pulling started it, and it's possible that if I hadn't pulled it, things might have gone differently for me. But uh, as this, I'm, I'm new to this. I mean, private investigation is, is a relatively recent career change for me. And so uh, I'm still, there's a lot that I'm still learning, and I, just, I ask for your patience at this time. You look, you look so poorly that uh, upon pulling out the chair, you don't see a body, but the weight and the force you have to pull out with informs you that there is indeed something in the chair that is a body. <laughs> I nod. Mm -hmm. much, as I, much as I thought. The, the, the officer goes, oh. Interesting technique. <laughs> Wouldn't say, have uh, thought to do that. <laughs> I say, I, I'm just getting started. <laughs> uh, out in the hall, I say, maybe I, I'm perfectly, I'm trained to, when I hear something funny is happening, so, oh. so I, I, I heard a funny noise in the other room, so if oh. you want to shadow me into this Oh, absolutely. Room. She holds up the magnifying glass. Oh, good. Glass behind you. Mm -hmm. So is that how you enter? Yeah. <laughs> One after the other. You can hear the and piano. Then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we remember that there's a dead body in here, so we kind of just... A little more slowly. How do you, how do you feel about a dead body? Shall we have a, a sanity check, perhaps? Oh, yeah. In the two of you? Both of us? <laughs> yes. Yeah, 41. You two, right? you oh, what's you my sanity? Right? Well, this yeah, it's a percentile dice. Yeah. So I, I think my sanity is 35, and I rolled higher than that, which means I failed, correct? Yes. Oh, how, right so out of the how much higher? Uh-oh. So we're going to get things moving right away, it sounds like. Yeah, I've seen lots of, lots of horrible things in horse glue factories, but I've never seen anything quite like this. Uh, would you roll a d4, Evelyn? Oops. Two. Okay, yeah. You take that many sanity points off. I take two sanity points off, okay. You did. And, and you, are, you emit a, a gasp, <gasps> stagger backward, despite <gasps> yourself. About five seconds ago, it was all very funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah no. I, I also rolled way into being insane. <laughs> how, how bad? 65, tw like 20 points higher than oh, okay. my threshold of sanity. <laughs> so real bad. All right, well, then you go ahead and roll a d4 as well. Okay. Also, let me remind each of you that you have uh, luck points on your sheet. That's true. And if you really screw up on a roll, you're allowed to take your luck points, add them to that role to make up the difference, so maybe you did a good job, if you want, <laughs> yeah. if you want. Retroactively, yeah. you can have succeeded in the past. Uh, I rolled a four. Okay, take that many off. Okay. And uh, now your pants fall out. They fall down again, but from terror. I know. <laughs> It's, you know, like, I, I, I take so much joy out of comically dropping my pants, but, like, the, the terror drop is yeah. awful. That mournful yeah. Yeah. drop. Yeah, somber tone. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a flag going to half mast. <laughs> it, all are called to respect this moment. Exactly. <clears throat> well, th this doesn't stop me. Now I'm just going to roll him over heavily. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, let's have a... Ooh. Let's do a, what's your, what's your medicine like? Bad. <laughs> um, it's 1% <laughs> total. All right, I mean, you, you could try anyway. What the hell? <laughs> no. I don't know. Hey. Yeah, nothing? All right. You don't no, know what medicine it was, is. It was higher. It was higher. <laughs> um, the, uh, the officer sees the, the two of you shocked and, and uh, dropping your magnifying glasses uh, and says, uh, Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Uh, other 
investigators are here. You can borrow mine if you wish. <laughs> oh. And as he and as he pulls it out of his pocket, a, a, a piece of paper falls to the ground, and he looks down at it and goes, "Oh, ridiculous! This case was so easy, so open and shut. I almost forgot about the suicide note." <laughs> <laughs> The murder note? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Perhaps. Some sense, I guess. Uh, he uh, hands it to you and, uh, and also a hand on your shoulder and says, I'm very sorry. I will, I will read it to you. Unless you don't want to read it. That's also a thing you could do. Nah, <laughs> I'll read it. It was murder! I'll read it. Well, yeah, I say. Yeah. We'll get this. We'll get this culprit. It says, "Thank you." To whom it may concern, all my life I believed I had found salvation many times in wealth, in status, and to a minor degree, in family. <laughs> <laughs> I have learned the complexities of modern life offer no rest, no peace of mind. This wretched pork house is a prison of my own design. I sought the solace of a road no longer traveled, shown to me by those who know the bliss at its end. <laughs> but cruelly... <laughs> what? What's it's, happening? What? No, no, no. The, the pork house was a whorehouse, according Keeper. to them. Oh. 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 Is that yeah. automated? I'll change it to whorehouse. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just, still work. Hey, it still works. Yeah, just work. <laughs> a, a whorehouse for pigs. Oh, right. Just, uh, just Daddy, what were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just to simplify it, should we just call it Porky's? I yeah. Have, I have to report to the yeah. Animal Welfare Society immediately. <laughs> it could be it's either. so much worse than you <laughs> thought. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Take a picture of that. Oh, that's S that's that's amnesia. I played that game. Yeah, yeah I like that. Uh, this is the best thing that's ever happened. Yeah, I didn't think like it'll. Be, you know, being a GM, it goes off the rails. I didn't think by technology. Yeah. Well, I because you know it's gonna woobity woob zap doobly ab doobly blah blah zip. Mean, mean. <laughs> how, how much laughter do you have to get for it to qualify for laughter yeah. on this? What's the threshold? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just unintelligible audience yeah. sound. Uh, where were we? Oh, suicide attack. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, that old chestnut. Right. <laughs> I'm also sort of just trying to res slowly but respectfully pull my pants <laughs> back up. You the, don't the, want to be caught reading a suicide note with your pants down. I know, I don't. Yeah, as, again. Again. As, you, yeah as you do that, the officer doffs his hat, of course. Uh, I sought the solace of a road no longer traveled, shown to me by those who know the bliss at its end. But cruelly, on the final step, I have been deemed unworthy of that glorious destination. What? There is not now, nor can there ever be, salvation for me. For I am unfit to dwell in the city on the hill. Pigs off to ya. <laughs> Walton Bleaker. The city on Pigs the hill. God damn you. <laughs> Can I, would it be possible for me to parse, using my like background in religion or the occult, try to parse some aspect of that? Because he goes into some very particular language by the end of his note. Um, it doesn't sound like language that's typically associated with meat packing. It's what, something else. What do you know about meat? <laughs> you don't know. Uh, I guess that's true. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can try. Yeah, you could do a religion check. I will. Watch me do it. This time. This time it's going to happen. This is the one. No. Nope. Oh, no, 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 I did. I did. I did. I, I actually know that. Um, so I do pass that check. Oh, okay. That religion check. Yeah, by how good? Uh, by a total uh, of, four, of four points. Oh, okay. Uh, I would say then that um, uh, you have heard say, on, uh, particularly on this coast for some reason, yeah. uh, that there are some elements here 
that fit um, a belief set of, you wouldn't call it a cult necessarily, um, but making a wealthy person feel bad seems to be like a, a keystone of certain industries. <laughs> Oh, for, Looking prepare, to take advantage of preparing them, them for extraction. Yes, I yeah. see. And so there's some there's some element maybe that has a religious lure in it that is yes. about deriving yes. value. Yeah, there's something uh, guilt rings in the mind like that's that mm -hmm. that plays with it. Yeah. Do you say any of this out loud or just think? No, I'm just I'm just back there. Uh, just standing bodily standing over this corpse just listening to this. And then I look down and then, oh, and then I, I resume uh, manipulating the body for my own pleasure. Just like? Yeah. <laughs> Kermit it's a, it's, it's a, it's a full-on Weekend at Bernie's sort of scenario <laughs> down there. I'm having a great time. I'm learning so much about detective work. I know. It's, it's very, like, I'm doing it all as though it's right from the manual. Yeah. Like a very serious face as this is happening. <laughs> Okay, uh, I would say that yeah, having rolled the body over and uh, and moving it about, you uh, it's it's clear to you that the body is first of all there's no blood, right? There's no trace of any gunshot wound or any wound for that matter, and it seems uh, for a man of bleaker size, which is not profound, uh, but it's oddly straightforward to move, easy. To move even. Look weirdly easy. Yeah. Like it doesn't maybe have the full contents. Yes, perhaps. I don't like that. <laughs> you shouldn't. You shouldn't. I stand up and I say, Mr. Bleeker, I have two questions. Uh, these are questions that I've derived from my practice as a private investigator. Mm -hmm. The first, <laughs> was your father a deeply religious man? Had he recently started going, perhaps, uh, to a new place of worship? Uh, he, I stand up from behind the desk, he, he wasn't the same since mother died, but I haven't seen him in a little while, and that was a couple years ago. A ways back, okay. And I say, uh, does, when you knew him, did he have all of his insides? <laughs> A hundred percent. As far as I could tell. Yeah, it, it would be difficult. Yeah. I mean, I could see, like, like into his mouth. <laughs> and then you could see in his ear. So, but I, beyond that, it was to say. So, you, so you're describing to me, Keeper, a scenario where this is, like, we're talking about, like, a grown man, but, like, a 60 to 80 pounds type situation? Not as dramatic as that, but, yeah, dramatic enough that it's making a difference. Okay. What is this thing doing? I don't know. Sabotaging <laughs> my words, <laughs> my beautiful words. <laughs> this, is, this is very serious. Yes. Um, when, when you said place of worship, Evelyn kind of like looked like she kind of got a light bulb. Yeah. And she was like, is that, is that where I know you from? From the, the Sisters of the Morning Light, that, that boarding school? Didn't, you look a lot like that priest I used to see over there every so often. Is that, are you related maybe? Possibly. Oh, my, maybe my mistake. I'm, no, I'm sure I've seen you there. I, I look out the window and I see a bird. <gasps> and, and then I love birds. Yeah. The and, killer, the real killer. <laughs> and then stop I, it. <clears throat> get that bird. And then I get down, um, and uh, I I open his shirt. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just pull it wide open. Yeah. Uh, you see. Uh, again, for like, I'm not trying to be cool. I'm not, they can bury him however they want. I mean, I take the two parts of the shirt and go like this. No, officer goes, oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I go, all right. <laughs> you see uh, that it is, um, uh, his torso is oddly sunken in various places. Okay, I'm just, I'm going to stand up and, and look away from that for a little while. <laughs> Yeah, you may you may also want to have a little sanity check. Yeah. <laughs> but are you sure? This is a little one. I say, just a taste. He was trampled by horses, <gasps> and then I 
accusatorily pointing at you. No, I can't. <laughs> I was looking at the bird. I heard horses. That yeah. immediately brought me back. This is far from the worst thing I've seen today. Okay, so you're good. You're solid. So okay. would, would we visually notice this as well from like... Well, I'm from on the other side of the table. Oh. Um, but at this point... So we just see you moving on. Yeah, I I exactly. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say... Just, like, just hunched the, the back and occasionally the top of the head <laughs> rise up. Oh. You don't I'd know say, what he's doing. Uh, I, I would love to have a second opinion on this. Oh? And I, I say, I say uh, Mr. Bleeker, is your, is your father a military man? Did he <laughs> suffer some kind of serious injury? No. Did pigs hate him? That, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lifelong war. That we bleakers <laughs> with, with the pigs. Uh -huh. And we're winning. <laughs> Maybe you need a bigger magnifying glass. Yeah. I pick up my big magnifying glass. You have the regular size magnifying I still have, glass. Yes. And I notice that the magnifying glass I got from the detective is almost comically small. Oh. It is. It's very small. I, I, we may have to use all three of these magnifying glasses at once. Oh, how do you do that? Just put them Set in a up row? <laughs> <laughs> the officer is a little bit unnerved. He says, oh, don't start a fire in here. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, uh, I, at this point, I, I'm, I'm bringing over, I'm bringing over Bleeker just to look at this, because this, so, this isn't a weird place. Are the three of you looking at his body? I've invited okay. them over and to you're take all a look just at it. Magnifying glassing. Yeah, yeah we're going to magnify chest. that sunken torso three times. And we're oh, try, yeah. I'm trying really hard to emote like, oh. Mm. 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 Like he's trying to emote whatever he does. Yeah. Oh. It's oh. weird, but. I need him to be murdered so I get the insurance money. That's what I'm thinking, because they don't pay out on suicides. So I just go, whichever the three of you chuckleheads can figure out this murder and call it a murder, wins, gets the money. Any day now. <laughs> All right. No, how about this? He was, uh, does this work? How much money would I get uh, if I say you murdered him? What? <laughs> I'm just, I was in I'm, another city. <laughs> I'm just brainstorming. You don't want to shut down the artistic process. Yeah. No bad ideas here. <laughs> That's a very bad idea. Okay. okay. That's like the worst idea I've heard. Well, did you check the letter to see if it was really his handwriting? Is that good detective? Oh my God, I give her five dollars. <gasps> <laughs> a fortune. Yeah, in, this this in 1920s, so many... that's like a grand. No. Yeah. This could buy so many oats. <laughs> Twenty. Oh. Yeah. But, but we, we, it seems like we should be able to compare it with some of the other documents here in the office. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, if you're looking on the desk, yeah, it doesn't take you long to find his like ledgers and, and so forth. And there's no, um, there's no difference in these <laughs> it's handwritings. The it is the same handwriting. Well, I'm going to keep the $5 at that time. <laughs> it's still a good idea. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe even find a couple uh, versions of the note that were stopped in the middle where he's just kind of getting the ideas down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or it's the same letter, but with a slightly different uh, send-off yeah. at the end. <laughs> that was the one he chose. Smiley chose. face. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Amid, as you cast this stuff around, uh, you... Oh, hmm, actually, what is... Uh, who's got... Who's looking at the desk right now? I think we're both trying to compare the yeah. documents. The two yeah. of you? Okay. Who's... Uh, I'm not on the body. I'm not around the body. Uh, make a... Uh, <laughs> I, I love that I get to say this. Make an accounting check. <laughs> I put a little bit into accounting, so instead of a one, I have a five. <laughs> here, right, right here. So we can, we can, I mean, you're on, you don't have to be by the body side. Oh, yeah, you're totally But I, I, I took a couple classes. Yeah. I feel like we are on the right side of the table. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, you can, you can look at these documents without being on the other side of it. We yeah. can both look at these documents. You want to toss it? Yeah. Throw it in. No. 68. The number of the beast. I need less than my number, right? <coughs> yeah. Indeed. Oh, but insanity, I need over? Or you always need less? You know, always less. Always. Okay. All right, this is going to be okay. Nope. No, it's fine. I am going to spend six points of luck to succeed. There you go. Mm. 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 Yum. Uh, yum, yum, yum. Yeah, the... It's not good. <laughs> Instead of just looking at the handwriting, you're looking at the numbers. And uh, the, this company's been in trouble for some time. They have no cash left, essentially. If they're just, they're wrung out. Yeah. 
But can I tell when it started? Uh, was there yes. some, was it, and I, I try to ascertain the dates around that. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna run these dates uh, by the bleaker scion here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you would say that it happened maybe uh, just a month ago. Really? Where, where the, it seemed like the stuff had bottomed out. Okay. And does it indicate where this money went? No. It's just out? Yeah, it's just out. It's like miscellaneous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. In the column. Exactly. Yeah, no, just cult fees. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, but see, there's your problem right no, it's here. It's like, not cult fees. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but not is in quotation marks. Yeah. Uh, so, <clears throat> I say, I have uh, incredibly bad news um, for you, Mr. Bleeker. Uh, and it's only compounded by the fact that this news is also very, very bad for me. Well, and oh, I know should, that that means it's probably trickles down to being bad for me as ultimately, well. Ultimately, yes, and I, it, it, it pains me to say it, but I am sure he's going to be asking for this $5 back any no. second now. <laughs> I've already spent it in my heart on what? the horses. <laughs> uh, I say, Mr. Bleeker, your fortune is gone. Impossible. Deeply possible. <laughs> and then I, I, spin the, I spin the ledger around, and I indicate it. And I say, I understand that you didn't spend a lot of time here, uh, but about a month ago, uh, all, the, uh, all the, cool, the cool life that was waiting for you evaporated. <laughs> and uh, it's possible that it's soon enough that we might be able to track some of it down. Um, but paying me will be very difficult, so I'm going to leave. Wait a minute. <laughs> You saying I'm not rich? Uh, quite you, the opposite. Yes. I how think do you that explain I, this coat? I think that I have more money than you, and I don't have any money. J just so we're clear. Yes. Am, am I now the only rich person in the room? Because that might affect the order in which we enter rooms. <laughs> New money, maybe. But. <laughs> I'm gonna need a job. Maybe do you think they'd put me in your picture? Well, let's see some facial expressions. Okay, which one? Uh, uh, happy. <gasps> Sad. Oh, uh, um, surprised. <gasps> I was surprised that you asked me that, so it was real. Oh. <laughs> I'm just doing like, what I'm I feel. Knock it off. <laughs> the, the officer Stop goes. Stop doing this for my dead dad. <laughs> He's good too. <laughs> Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that facial. <laughs> wow. so, so I'm gonna. So we have this. Yeah. Yes. I'm rich. <laughs> You're That's, wrong. Uh, okay. That's uh, all right. Yes. Okay. We're just moving hmm. forward with that assumption. Yes. So okay. Let's solve the murder. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use one of the few skills I have, uh, Ooh, yeah. which is charm. And I am going to, uh, Ooh, try, like to try to charm the detective. I like this. Uh, yeah. And uh, detective, like, hey, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if you know, I'm internationally famous. Um, are there any like, what are the things you don't tell people about? <laughs> like, what are, what's like the inside scoop of murder, suicide in this town? <laughs> You're asking for the VIP experience. Yeah, what's of the, the murder investigation? <laughs> Uh, he says, well, yeah, let's, let's roll for it, yeah. actually, yeah. Because he knows who you are. All right. He's been, he's been playing it close to the vest, but. I have a charm of 65. Oh, oh no. God. Two luck points. Luck. Two, luck. Luck. Two luck points, all right. Yes. Put him in. Let's just Two burn them all points. now. All right. And then by the end of this game, we're going to be in each other's throats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm he, just at the razor's edge yeah. of my charm. <laughs> no, That's a good place to be. No, no, and it's like, what's required to use the luck is just like, the smile becomes a tiny bit ghoulish at the end. Like it widens just a little too much. Ah. Evelyn takes notes on the facial expression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see the moment at which the officer's face goes from like, like it immediately <laughs> oh. brightens like, oh, this famous comedian. Uh, he says, um, well, we don't get many murders like this. Well, suicides. Mm -hmm. Ah, you said murder. <laughs> <laughs> he said murder, it's official. <laughs> now, I see here yeah, the only murder that's going to occur in this room is me killing you for misquoting me. <laughs> that's how we do things here in Algemite. Uh, if people are getting murdered for misquoting, someone else might be in danger. <laughs> uh, 
he says, uh, I don't think it's much of a secret, though, that uh, Mr. Bleeker was, didn't seem to be doing too good uh, these past couple weeks, uh, staggering around at night, uh, going into places of bootlegged liquor, <gasps> which is uh, frowned upon, yeah, as it is prohibition. <laughs> no, he doesn't say it that way. He says it the regular way. Uh, he, uh, uh, the officer says, he's, uh, he was clearly troubled. He's been uh, looking at uh, various ways to alleviate that. Uh, here, and he sm uh, scoots, scoots stuff around on the desk, some of the papers, uh, shows you a, uh, it looks like a pamphlet. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it reads, uh, The Path to Clarity. Oh. The Path to Clarity? Uh, is this, like, propaganda to get rich people? Because I'm the richest person in the room, uh, so I might be the most... Well, I say, we'll know very quickly. Why don't you look at the first couple pages, <laughs> and we'll see if you're struck by a desire uh, to leak wealth. Okay. All right. Uh, do I have to do any kind of uh, roll <laughs> against pamphlet? Not against this one. Uh, <laughs> this, this infernal brochure. <laughs> uh, no, mm. it talks about, uh, like, it's specifically towards, like, men of industry. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. It's one of you, these. Yeah, if you're, you know, it's a, it's a hectic life and how, you know, a, a return to a peace of mind is possible, like a, a kind of serenity. Oh. Uh, and uh, it can be achieved simply uh, with a, a simple program of, of, of rest and meditation. Uh, Fiber. Yeah, you can't count it out, especially in a town like this. It's a lot of, a lot of pork, a lot of fish. <laughs> we'll see what that said. <laughs> <laughs> did I get it? All right. I did a good job. Thank you. Uh, I, I sort of share what I read with the rest of the group. It doesn't really affect me as a international comedian, I'm like, I can't, if I find serenity, I worry that I'd be less funny. So I can't, mm. it doesn't really suffer. affect me. That's the yeah. function of it. But this pamphlet is almost certainly going to have information about contacting the group. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, That's the key. Yeah, if you, if you uh, flip to the, uh, or look on the back. It's like, <gasps> Hold on, there's a back. There's a back. Sanity check. No. <laughs> You're startled. <laughs> Two-sided paper. Uh, no, it, it says that you can, uh, uh, you can, what does it say? What's that saying? Anytime I hear this tittering. Yeah, no, no, it's uh, good, it's no, good. That's good. Okay. Um, yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. I'm so f afraid to speak. No, now. for a little, for a, no, for a little while it said tit, and we were we all yeah, we were all having a good time. And then the, but, the parser was like, that can't be right. Find yeah. the word. Uh, exactly, but but on the back of this pamphlet, I'm not gonna look. Yeah, is this it, could go on forever. Yeah, yeah. I know. yeah. This uh, is why there were silent movies. <laughs> it says, uh, sign up, find out more information. Uh, weekly meetings held here uh, in town at Pastor University. Pastor? Pastor. Oh, Jesus. Now maybe there's two A's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ha-Oster. Ha-Oster. It's right. a little bit different. <clears throat> so there's Pastor. I, I asked the... <laughs> I ask... Uh, I ask if the... Uh, I ask the detective or the policeman, if he knows, and obviously it's deeply, deeply wrong uh, to drink. And I, I tell him, I'm like, man, it's the worst liquid ever. And I, I, and I don't support uh, its consumption. Um, but we might be able to find out more information if we knew where to find one of these local dens of iniquity. Uh, just as, as, a, as, a, as a point to touch on, possibly, after we check out Ha'aster University. <laughs> Around here, we call it uh, Haster. <laughs> rah, rah, Haster, 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 you. You know. Oh, they, they the old a, cheer. There's, yeah. a, there's a, a sporting aspect? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he says, uh, uh, 
uh, you might want to check out uh, Fraternity Row while you're down there, mm -hmm. since uh, we had to break up some of those boys. Hmm. Oh, they're such nice young men down in Fraternity Row. I have such a good time when I go down there. <laughs> That's not been my experience. <laughs> no? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Given a drink, even on the Lord's Day, which here doesn't exist. Oh, heavens no. <laughs> The Lord's mm. Day doesn't exist here? We couldn't decide which day to make it. <laughs> so all we just gave up. Uh, well, here, we, I feel like we yeah. have an interesting angle here to investigate. We can attend one of these weekly meetings. They're blatantly the killers of this blatant non-suicide. Well, uh, bare minimum, they took what seems to be a lot of his best bits. It's life? <laughs> <laughs> nah, well, no, and I, I just... I, I just poke the tip of my polished shoe in the holes yeah. uh, that he has in his chest. Like, this is, they sink. Yeah, so there should have been too some. Far. This, this is all good eating in here, and it's, it's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the sound of that. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a good time to trot on down yeah. to that row. Mm -hmm. um, you came by car, perhaps, mm -hmm. or by horse, maybe. No. Oh, no, I would never. I don't think so. <laughs> What is the opposite of a horse so that you would take that device? Uh, actually, I think Evelyn is a, quite an accomplished driver. Let yes. me see. Oh, no, no, she's not. I just, oh, she is an accomplished rider. That's what it was. Mm. Um, no, I, I drove. She didn't drive well. <laughs> <laughs> no, we go out, where is her car? When it's we like, leave the front, where is the car at? It's parked. But, you it know. It stopped. <laughs> Yeah, it is stopped. Um, if it should be this way, it's maybe a little this way. Maybe the, the, the wheel is just a little bit... It's jaunty. Exactly like my hat. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. It's a brand. You have it's to keep in fashion. Brand. It's a whole brand. Mm -hmm. All right. I, 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 I could drive, though, if you guys want to hop in my car. I'd right. be happy. I can drive. <laughs> I mean, if you want to. I, just I, see, I see the car, uh, and I say... I, I look over to Mr. Bleeker, and I say, let's go. All right, I have a really, really nice car, and we walk past it. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like in the 20s, it's more impressive to drive yourself, right? Oh. Than to have a driver. So you had like a really nice car. Yeah. And I pointed out to you. I'm like, I'm very impressed. I go, yeah, you got a car like that? New money? Uh, I have a couple, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't know how to drive any of them. Ah! That's a thing. <laughs> gotcha. That's, that's pretty impressive. At that point, that wins. Uh, oh, I'm ready to see. Yeah. So you, um, you take this vehicle. Uh, the, the, yeah, the roads here are, they were, don't seem like they were thought out for like a modern vehicle. There's like deep like wagon wheel ruts. Uh, something from the Industrial Revolution. Like the, they forgot to do part of it here. <laughs> they so, did their best, ran out of money, and then said, okay. Yeah, good enough. We got, we got light, we got running water sometimes, we're good. Um, you uh, park um, in front of uh, one of the streets along Pastor University. Are we on Fraternity Row? Yeah, you found your way there. If, hmm. if we need, I'm sure we could talk to some of the boys in some of the fraternities I know. There's a, right here is um, Theta Ypsilon Theta. I won't wait for that. Yes, you are correct. <laughs> oh, T-I-T? <laughs> That's the one. Yeah, writ large above <laughs> that row house <laughs> are those very letters. Yeah. <laughs> right, as though they were right above your head. Mm. Mm -hmm. Indeed. <laughs> what a blessing. Uh, Absolutely. Well, here, I mean, it sounds like you already have some affiliation with these youths. I mean, if affiliation, you mean just, you know, friendly acquaintance, of course. <laughs> well, you may be best to ask if Mr. Bleeker ever spent much time down here. Oh, well, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't presume to, to lead first and then have you follow and then you follow him and him follow you. <laughs> let's, just, let's just try it this one time and see how it goes. <laughs> well, I, I, I have a lot of charm. Maybe I should talk to these tit boys. 
<laughs> I but mean, no, you, you really, you, you know them. But you've, you've been following me for a while. Yeah. It's time to put that, those observations to work. Okay. I mean, I, I wouldn't compare charms, but I feel like we're similar in ability, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knock on the door. Theodore! Bernard! Other names that fit the era. <laughs> Uh, the door opens. Uh, uh, say, <laughs> all right, hey, Theodore Bernard. They're not in. My name's Chet. Oh, Chet. I met you last time, Chet. You probably don't remember. I'm drunk all the time, so yeah, absolutely, I do <laughs> You're not <silly>. remember. <laughs> <laughs> <Screw you. laughs> well, if you don't remember anyone, it's going to be real hard to, you know, for you to help us. Is there anyone? who does remember things, because we just have a couple little tiny questions. Actually, the only, the only one here at the moment, because the classes are in session, and that's where the boys like to drink. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one at all? Well, it's just me for now. This is the middle of the afternoon. Well, I suppose that we could ask you if you think you might be able to remember something once. I don't know. <laughs> are, you well, guys, are you guys cool? Y'all guys cool? Well, cool, I think cool, so. Cool, cool. I mean, you might, you might recognize this, this person right here from the films. I'm internationally famous. This is crazy. My dad loves your movies. Oh. Hmm. This is amazing. <laughs> oh. You're the guy who I might have to roll sanity check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard it so often. Eight percent. Eight, all right. Ooh, you're quite well. You're, you're I, yeah. inured. Yeah, you can handle it. I'm yeah. cool. A lot of people love me. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing here? Are you, you working here? Uh, well, I'm doing research for an upcoming silent film. <laughs> no, you're not. I am. Oh, that's incredible. He might even put me in the movie. Well, a, si a silent film? Yeah, like the one my dad likes? Any yeah. of those? Yeah, well, you know, I, the greatest. I watch that. I, just, I, saw, oh. I saw some of the talkies recently. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they were talking yeah. right to me in the audience. Can you imagine it? I didn't have to imagine the words. It, they just, they are no longer showing up written on screen. <laughs> That's the way of the past. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the talkies are a fad, and <laughs> silent films are the true art, and I think that. It's us, like, saying things out loud is one thing, but the true art is writing them down. Uh, whoever does that is doing a great job. <laughs> I don't know. It's don't not know. easy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and I, and I, would, I would have to imagine they would, in a moment like this, they would write, really big applause. <laughs> 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 I just get <laughs> Nah, I tell you what, I hate reading. That's not why I go to the movies. <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't wait to see what they make talk next. What next will sound come out of when I'm in a theater? <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Well... I think we could talk movies all day, but yes. uh, we are here because we're looking for some information about this uh, young man's father, Mr. Bleeker. And I don't know, maybe you could describe him and see if Chet remembers ever having seen him, if he remembers anything at all? He would have to know, I mean, we're like, the, the Bleeker mean, family is like, like the Ford of pigs. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and Helgramite is a small town, if this oh, is yeah. where they're originally from, right? No, they, so they, he, uh, he absolutely knows the name. Yeah. For sure, yeah. He recognizes. Yeah, me. he recognizes you like, ah, pork boy. <laughs> what are you doing around here? Pork man. I thought you graduated already. <laughs> yeah, he yields so and so. Ah, pork, 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 pork. <laughs> God damn it, I giggle. <laughs> giggle really hard. Ah, so you're talking about his, yeah, his dad? Yeah. 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 Have you seen him lately? No, why you die? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like an embarrassment to you. Yeah. <laughs> Just to no, like drop no. me out. No. Uh, this, yeah, he says, um, he says, I heard stories about him. 
that, that, he, that he'd often go out at night carousing and canoodling, if you know what I mean, but in a sad way, oh. in a depressed way. No. Where did he go? Was it on campus? Yeah, I was on campus, just basically staggering around campus with a paper bag. That Wasn't in any given location. <laughs> with a can of noodles? Yeah, can maybe. Can noodling? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know any one spot that he'd go to, but it seems to me he probably went to all of them. He's the term migratory. Yeah, nomadic carouser. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you're. Uh, I'm glad you came and asking about that. So that sounds like a good time to me. I mean, not at his age, but how's your old man? Uh, he's been better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's that's tough to hear. That's under the weather. Hear. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're lucky I even came to the door in the first place. Because typically, I just got interrupted by some lady handing out pamphlets. I, I took one and slammed it. I was about to take a bath. Oh, pamphlets? We really like pamphlets. Would you mind if we borrowed it? Oh, yeah. He just reaches down besides the door on the floor where he threw it when he shut it and he hands it over. It is the same pamphlet. Yep. I say, do you know anything about these guys? Only that... Uh, Got, we get one of these pamphlets at the house maybe every other week at this point. Is it the same person giving them to you every time? Uh, this is one of the times I happen to be here to mm. receive it. H how recently? It sounds like this, this yeah. woman was just here. Yeah, pretty recently. Maybe about an hour ago. Did it seem like she had all of her organs? Or, or extra organs. Yeah. Or, yeah, was someone either, else's organ inside her? Yeah. You know what? Either way. Either way. Either, like, here's the norm, and it's like, too many organs, not enough organs. Okay. Something like that. I, I, I'm not a biology major. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Well, what did she look like? Maybe we could just drive around and find her. Uh, she had, uh, she's about your height, uh, dark hair, uh, kind of a, all, all black clothes, oh. uh, which I thought was kind of weird because there's no graduations at this time of year. Hmm. Which uh, direction did she go? Does she hit every, do, do you talk to the other frats? Does she hit every frat and frat row with these things? Typically, yeah, as far as I know. Right. I mean, what's a pamphlet cost? Yeah. $19.20? Uh, $8, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We'd have to make an accounting roll. To yeah. <laughs> Who can say? Uh, there might be a table in the back here working. for that, actually. Yeah. It's very yeah. thorough. No, no. And so. Uh, I, I wonder if he just, I wonder if he spent all of his time down here drinking and mm -hmm. then came across one of these pamphlets just on his, um, if, if he came across a pamphlet just because he was down here getting fucked up all the time. Yeah. And right. we could probably ask that woman why. I don't think this is going to be hard at all. Why he wouldn't have, you know, felt worthy. Because I don't, I don't know, no offense, Chet, but why Chet would be deemed more worthy. I have to, I have to <laughs> say... Evelyn. May I call you Evelyn? Sure. I have to say, I think that we have a rather delicious target, perhaps, uh, for this strange church's interests right here with us. <gasps> Who? Oh. <laughs> that, this is my knowing facial expression. Is it good? That's very good. <laughs> now, Great, are I'm you, practicing. Are you interested in uh, the, oh, a spot of acting, maybe, this <laughs> afternoon? I think I am very interested in a spot of acting. I get, like, maybe a little too excited. <laughs> like, a little, like, whoo, Some vocal yes, warm-ups. Yeah. <laughs> I sort of, like, spin around in a circle a couple <laughs> times. <laughs> are you sure you can do it? It might require talking. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, Chet says, uh, ah, what should you do that? I feel just like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> now, the role I have in mind uh, is that of a, uh, a sort of man-child dilettante with more money than sense. Mm, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're offended. I know, you yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some uh, pork magnet air. <sighs> Look, we... We might have to do something drastic where I am the face of this 
this target, and maybe someone else provides the voice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's. I don't think that that's going to happen. I feel like that is not going to work, just because of how physical law works. But we can be very near. Okay. Uh, we can be your entourage, let's say. Okay. Uh, we will be very close. Uh, no doubt, quips from the young bleaker scion uh, at the ready. Okay. Um, I, I say we attend one of these meetings and see if they take the bait. Let's do it. I'm, a, I'm, up, I'm up for it. I could play the role of your assistant, and I could pass you notes if you don't know what to say. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Exquisite. Uh, I'm I in, guys. Know. Let's go. Chet <laughs> <laughs> uh, throws the towel down. Isn't that... No does, bath for me tonight. <laughs> does it matter that my language own, uh, like my own language score English is 35, which seems Good low. Good God. It seems low. Oh, wow. Yeah, Sweet. It's not It'll be fine. How, how are we mean. understanding you now? <laughs> That's the problem with the, the talkies, isn't it? Uh, it, it is. <laughs> it's the inability to speak. Right. Um, but it, 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 it seems like we know how to get synced up with these meetings, if we can go and get a sense of this place, oh, yeah. uh, we'll be able to learn a lot, I suspect, very quickly. Yeah, because the, yeah, they're talking about finding out more on campus, for sure. They're trying, yeah. they're actively trying to get us to do what we want to do, so I feel like it's going to, we're going to meet in the middle of this. Well, they're, let's go let's find go that woman and ask her where the meeting is. What direction did the woman leave in? Oh, uh, she actually, since we're the last house here on Fraternity Row, she took off directly into the campus. Yeah, there's a, there's there's one uh, um, one lecture hall, one building mm -hmm. here, and then it continues on. There's a, a few of them. It is a small school. Exactly, but the pamphlet also tells us sort of where to, like where well, we can get, find information about the meeting, right? Yeah, the pamphlet indicates the uh, the um, like the quad, like the central oh, area where they're maybe doing it right out in the open there, here. There may be postings or something like oh. that, typically. Yeah, Perfect. pork board. What, I was just going to say, pork board? Oh. On a pork board. <laughs> Let's they go. they got to do something with the remnants. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I know uh, the way to the quad. I hang out there all the time. Let's go. You go to the quad. You go to the quad through uh, the nearest lecture hall because it's the most direct route. Um, and uh, this is uh, apparently the, one of the sciences building. Um, some of the classes are in session. You can see students listening to their teachers uh, doing some small experiments, vials, uh, pools of liquid boiling above a green flame. <laughs> oh. Is that a thing? <laughs> uh, and you hear, sh uh, as you are approaching the, um, the exit into the quad area, you hear from one of the classrooms uh, a shout, uh, somebody yelling, no, no, uh, and a door slamming, uh, but nobody entering into this hallway. That sounds like someone in trouble. Humans have just as many rights as horses. We should protect them. <laughs> What say you, adventurers? Well, on, our, <laughs> our, on our way, yeah, I mean, on our way through, I think we can make a quick detour. Yeah, for, for us to investigate an afternoon shout. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. Just, you go, just, just listen at the door type situation. Yeah. Uh, you hear, uh, you don't hear any scuffling or anything like that, but you hear what sounds like a, a grown man uh, crying, or like, just sort of like, in some sort of turmoil. In the closet? Oh no, this would be in, an entrance into like, this is the door of a uh, lecture hall. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. And he's just sort of alone in there, mm -hmm. it sounds like. I'm imagining that Evelyn spends a lot of time on this campus. Can I roll to see if maybe she knows like whose classroom this is or like if she would have any connection to this person? Uh, you can, yeah. Maybe it would there, be. So there, there's like, let's say a, a, a door in the window at this distance, you can, oh, can perhaps peer in. in. Yeah. yeah. Do, I, do I know this person? Uh, let's see, what would you roll? Let's see, it could be 
I have, um, she would probably come here to use the library. I have library use, but that doesn't Ooh. really help me identify a person. I, I would allow that role okay. for this. That makes All sense. All right, library use. She loves going to the library here. Roll for library. That is a 49, which, oh, man, I how, fail. How close is How it? close? Yeah, luck. Oh, yeah. it's, I have a 40 in library use. Well, you could spend nine. Could yeah, spend sure. Nine I'm spending up. nine. Hit it. Yeah. Evelyn knows. What else are you going to do? All your character is going to die at the end, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, Wait, what? What was that? Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, you, you recognize, you don't know his name, but you've certainly seen him in the library here at the university before. A student? Uh, no, he is a professor. Oh. He's, he's a teacher here. Okay. Professor Crybaby. <laughs> do I know what he teaches? or? Uh, you, as you associate him with, yes. <laughs> Open sobbing, live information. <laughs> The art, <laughs> sciences. Uh, you associate them with um, like liberal arts, like histories and, and things like that. Um, okay. Yeah. This is very strange. I've never seen Professor you don't know his name. Hamilton. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I've never seen this professor weep like this before <laughs> openly in his classroom. I think we should go cheer him up or, or ask if everything's okay. She opens the door and does you this. Say, we can see if he knows the pamphlets. I'm not here to solve everyone's, you know, problems with yeah. them just because they're crying. I don't have time for all that. I mean, I have a giant magnifying glass. <laughs> Maybe that would Maybe cheer that'll him up. That'll get him yeah. going. Yeah. Like, a little soft shoe. Yeah. Not, you're not here to solve everybody's problems if they're crying, unless you know, a belly full of pork will get a smile on that face. There we go. I don't know. Got to move some product. <laughs> you, you, you push the door open, and as you do, uh, uh, you notice a piece of paper skitter across the floor. It is a pamphlet. <gasps> she picks it up. She kind of tucks it away, and she says, excuse me, professor? Are you all right there? What are you doing here? I'm sorry. I thought, I thought that it was her. Who? Uh, Someone uh, about my height in a black cloak, dark hair? Yes, <gasps> yes. Was she just here? Yes, she was. What did uh, she want? I dart back out just to look down the hallway. Oh, you look at that? Yeah, it's, there's another door at the bottom of the lecture hall, and there's a, a hallway, but yeah. th there's nobody in there. Okay. Now. Yeah. Uh, she always comes around with this, 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 this pamphlet, these lies. What, what kind of lies? It says, it says it offers comfort. Does it not offer comfort? As far as I'm concerned, no. I've, it has given me personally nothing but pain. What causes pain about it? Hypercut. <gasps> oh. I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> oh. We're here to make you feel better. <laughs> ah, good. <laughs> I could use some of that. <laughs> I am Dr. Azim Abdal Khanzir. But you may call me Dr. Azim. Well, good luck. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> 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 you may call me Dr. Well, Doctor, we just couldn't help but notice you crying, and we've been following these pamphlets around, and we're just thinking they're causing quite a stir, and it may have even been involved in this poor young man's father's death. Murder. Murder. A murder? Yes. Most foul. Most of the foul? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if all of the foul die, how will we eat moose <laughs> or duck? I know. Yeah. This... This has far-reaching ramifications. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows where it stops? Yeah. How far up this goes? Yeah. <laughs> this is a deep state, state conspiracy. Uh, you're, you're cheering me up. You're the pork boy. <laughs> the pork man. God damn it. I just put my belly out. I'm like, get it over with. <laughs> I giggle. <laughs> uh, murder? <laughs> yeah. Keep, keep working this angle. I think this is... Am I detectiving? Yeah. yeah. Most certainly. Oh. Well, um, as we are on this angle, I would love to ask you with a serious expression a question. Um, I should roll for this for performance. Yeah, I was going to say. Is there uh, performance? We've got acting. Acting? 
Or like, let's see, art or craft? <laughs> Maybe. Some macrame. Act, acting is under art and craft. Or persuading. Oh, it Persu is? Persuade would work, yeah. Persuade. Okay, let's see how she does. Swim. I would take swim. Oh, I've got high <laughs> jump stats. <laughs> you could jump. I've got jump and okay, drive. Okay, I am rolling horribly. I failed by 14. Uh, so she asks, do you like horses? <laughs> yes. Okay. It is a noble beast. She acts like she's writing that down, like it's very important. I say, can you, can you help me understand how this pamphlet came to create so much torment? Because we don't believe you're the only one who has had this experience. I have seen this pamphlet before. But after a time, I refused to read it because of what it did to my colleague. Your colleague? Yes, Dr. Carter. Dr. Carter? Let me write that down on the sheet. Mm -hmm. I see you writing it, yes. <laughs> That's it. Why are you two getting pamphlets? You don't look rich. <laughs> he takes a little offense at that. Yeah, you should. In f offense behind it. I, I work in... I work in ancient histories, Egyptology. You don't know. I These don't. tombs are filled with treasures that I may keep. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Now I'm impressed. <laughs> nice. Uh, can I ask Dr. Azim, um, parentheses and audible parentheses? Abdal <laughs> Hanzir. Yes, what you said. Uh, what kind of, tri like, what kind of, Treasures do you have? Oh, the treasures I study are, are from. <laughs> it's Dr. Azim. A Z I M, yes? Yeah. That, A I'm, that I'm cool A -Z -I -M? with. A Z I M? A Z I M is totally fine. It's great. What happened to Dr. Carter? <laughs> yeah. I apologize. For some reason, I thought it was like a like an AI parser, like listening. Oh no, it's a human. No, it's, it's a, a human being. Yeah. Well, a human being with emotion. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Shame on me. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's be clear. When we're talking, I mean, this person has gotten the biggest laughs of the night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about we we're talking about a true collaborator. <laughs> there are six people performing on this stage yes, tonight. Yes, agreed. We, we need them on yes. our side. <laughs> <laughs> um, I say, but yes. Oh, yes. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> exclamation. Yes. That seems a little editorial to me. Yeah. Exclamation point. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's no end to this. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm lost now. Dr. Oh, no. Carter, uh, what character. happened to Dr. Carter? Uh, Dr. Carter worked with me here in the necrosociology department. Necrosociology? <laughs> I, I raised my eyebrow very high. <laughs> Like with a hand, like you physically, well, like you it, doff it? Once it reaches its zenith, uh, I reach up a hand to assist it even further. I'm always getting necrosociology and necroanthropology mixed up. Mm. Yes, a, a common problem. You should take one of my classes. Uh, Dr. Carter was in, under a lot of stress and seeking ways to calm himself, his nerves, uh, related to some of the research he was doing. <laughs> I just want to know. Yeah. I want that on the monitor so I can it's look at so it. It's so good, dude. It's Dang so it. good. Dang it. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know what that uh, uh, He didn't that, feel good. He had to calm his nerves. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I, it's, it seems like you're under a lot of stress. You have a presence that is putting me back on track, <laughs> personally. It seems like maybe you're, you're hearing voices or, or, or reading something from your mind. Or... 
he looks about for them. Uh, not me, but that would describe how I believe Dr. Carter felt. Oh, really? He had gone deeper and deeper into this program. And even though he's gone missing, they should, still they come. Still they try to convince others. It, it, it is a, a, how do you say it? A predatory practice. Mm. It is a bad business. Well, what happens when they get deep in the program? He takes, there's an, an, like an ashen appearance that, that he adopts. Um, I could not say. I could not say. I refuse to say. Okay. Uh, Evelyn wants to take his hand gently and try to persuade him. Like, You're safe here with the pork boy man and <laughs> this okay. newly appointed detective and this international superstar. Thank you. <laughs> it's working on me. <laughs> I already feel great. Yeah. It's like such a weird group. Ooh. I think I did. It. <laughs> I like that, I Evelyn. Yeah, Evelyn passes with flying colors on that. Okay, okay. Uh, he, uh, he feels the warmth of your hand and looks about at this actor who he clearly recognizes from these famous comedies, uh, the pork boy who gave him so much joy. <laughs> so many full bellies, mm. contented. And then this detective who shrugs is here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but there's a, there's a sense of like, of uh, like, official like propriety about you it's like yeah. you're here to help yeah exactly yeah, you're not the enemy here mm -hmm. uh and uh, uh dr zim says i refused to follow him he wanted me to join but when he went missing i kept his things kept his things i kept his things only so that they would not fall into the hands of others but I have not looked at them since. Here. He uh, walks over to uh, like a storage closet in the lecture hall, opens it, uh, retrieves a small leather, like a doctor's satchel. bag. Satchel. Yeah, like a satchel. Uh, and with reverence, places it on the table in front of you. Uh, and it's cl clearly it's difficult for him to even be around it because yeah. there's a lot of emotions here. He was a good man. He didn't deserve what they did to him. So, so he, he, went, he went missing. You don't have any, you don't have any idea where he went? What did they do to him? Does he have all his organs? <laughs> 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 This upsets him greatly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that might be a no. Yeah. I think that might be a no. Evelyn motions toward the bag to the detective, and, yeah. and your magnifying glass yeah. holds it up. It, it's filled with organs. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, in the bag you see uh, a number of his, you know, artifacts like uh, glasses, uh, a pocket watch. Just personal effects. Mm. Personal effects, for sure. I can uh, see why they would want him. Great effects. Well, look at these glasses. <laughs> Some classic glasses. Better than any magnifier. Uh, you also see a, um, a, a, a small book, uh, which you pull out and look at with your eyes. Oh. Can I roll? <laughs> roll to look at. No. <laughs> uh, the book is, is called Animal Citizenship. <gasps> that sounds fascinating. You know, ugh. And it is a it is a a, a worn old book, yeah. uh, like a Vanity Press. Like it's well oh, made. Yeah. Is it in English? I've only got a thirty-five in that. You don't know. <laughs> you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Illiterate film star. <laughs> There's a lot of shapes on huh. the front. Mm. Mm. But so uh, I'm gonna I'll sort of gingerly remove it and uh, flip through it. Like, uh, like, I'm just gonna identify and try to figure out what's useful about this before I continue to look inside the satchel. Okay, um, 
Let's see here. Uh, I got some. I got all kinds of weird stuff we can try to do in terms of like research, library use type stuff. Yeah. Uh, um, psychology. I got. Uh, these are all the ones that I, I'm really good at. So let's just do one of those. See, so um, you have jump. That's a good one. What's that? Jump. Jump. <laughs> I've got jump. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can jump like crazy. Yeah. Oh man. I set the book on the ground. And then I just jump over it. And then, not to be outdone, I jump over it. I'm no. I'm sure my jump's better. <laughs> this pleases Dr. Izzy. Yeah. No, he... <laughs> <laughs> and we're just hopping over a book. <laughs> no, he's, he's, not, he's not looking at what you're doing. He, when you took the book out of the bag, he grabs your hand a little tighter, and he just refuses to look at it. Comforts him. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say, I, I can handle this part. Uh, the front of the book... Uh, you, you read, um, it's like a tract, a treatise. Yeah. And um, a lot of the elements in there talk about uh, uh, clarification. Not clarity, but clarification is the term that they use. Oh, okay. So, so but, but does it seem like it's being used in something like this, a similar way? Oh, like for it's the same body of thought? Oh, for sure, yeah. You're seeing mention of how um, it is a road that leads places. Okay. Uh, and, and that... Uh, Does it mention the city on the hill? Oh, yes. Hmm. You, find a, you find a passage to... Uh, it's almost identical? It, you, it describes the city on the hill in the way that, that seems to track with the suicide note, saying that, you know, it being this metaphor for perfection. Yeah, which uh, has a, and that has a religious origin. Right, yeah. Uh, and looking at it, you see where some of that... Uh, Originates and how that might resonate with somebody in the same way that, you know, consider the lilies of the field. Right. Uh, you know, they it's a baseline don't, philosophy. Yeah, they don't worry about anything. Um, uh, but as it goes on, as you read deeper, you're now seeing that it's not being discussed as metaphorical, but more like an actual city, city or some place to go, maybe a, in a in a metaphysical way, but still, it's not like a it's, it's very um, reverently handled. It's not deviated from that terminology. Okay. Is, so there, an, is there an index? Can you look up worthy? What makes someone worthy? A horse. I mean, that would be great, too. Does it, does it say the author? No. Ayn there's, Rand. There's no <laughs> IP3. But, 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 but this is also, it's, it's, it's animal... Animal citizenship. Animal citizenship. But that's just like the outer cover, and then inside, it's... All this other weird shit? Uh, so, yeah, early on, I'll g you're going to flip to the back as well, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Early on in the book, it, it discusses, uh, in, in the context of all this, how humans, people, that we, uh, we suffer because of the lives that we have made that are overly complex, that, are, that uh, no animal would endure this. Uh, we have created these... these uh, miseries for ourselves. Yeah, just these impossible lives. Right, and that, and that uh, it's, it is the animals that are truly uh, free because they, they, do not, they do not worry. They, in fact, uh, there's a specific passage that catches your eye about how the animal does not possess consciousness. We are animals. We should not possess consciousness. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so... Do you flip further? <laughs> yeah, I do, and, and so, but now I've sort of connected the major ideas. So we are animals, but we diverge from true animals, real or pure animals, because we're burdened by this false consciousness. Yes. Uh, so at first I was like, oh, I should show this to Evelyn. And then I was like, hmm. <laughs> I mean, um, this isn't bad yeah, yet. No, 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 I mean, I keep, I, I, I basically skip to the end. Mm. Okay. Like, I can, I can, <laughs> I can spend quality time with this later. Oh, for sure. But I'm starting, I'm, I'm basically, I have two points, and I sort of have a line, and I'm just trying to see where this gets to at the end, like, where the leap is that results in these damaged, ruined men. Uh, yeah, as you, as you flip through the book, um, you notice like fewer and fewer portions are in English. They start to revert to uh, 
smatterings of Latin. And then... I know Latin. You know some Latin. And then other phrases uh, that are not the language you recognize. And then straight up sigils and glyphs and diagrams. Oh, so the, the book basically melts down while I'm reading it. Right. Yeah, I can't show this to a zine. As you, as you uh, come upon some of those uh, diagrams in the back, uh, which seem to be describing uh, uh, a, a, a version of a person that is... Without perf consciousness? Perfected in some way, uh, is the book's term. Do I see, do any of these diagrams show the human body modified in such a way that it would map to what I saw for the elder bleaker. Yes. Is that oh. is part of the process of perfection? Yes. That and, and some of it must be removed. Make a sanity check. Oh. Anybody else looking? <laughs> I got this. You got it. You're fine. Okay. Okay. I I, I close it. Okay. So he was. So he was some way along this path. And I, I indicate that to everyone else. Mm. Um, I, I say, Mr. Bleeker, your father was, your father was into these people. He was way, way into these people. Well, uh, then they could be responsible for his death. I, I say, I, I think that the case for murder is robust. It's, uh, but it's nothing like if he had been shot, it would have been a blessing. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this, well, this upsets Dr. Azim. And, <laughs> and Donald Bleeker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. We, Sanity check, please. We, we, uh, oh, okay. Let's have it. I'm pretty sane. I'm too dumb You're to be okay. insane. Right. You got it. You got it unlocked. Yeah. 12. You got it unlocked. Uh, but I'll tell you what. So there's two things that we need to do. The first is that we can attend this meeting. So the me we know that the meetings, they, all, they happen like every week or every two weeks or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. In the quad. When is the next meeting relative to right now? That is not given in the pamphlet. It does not say. It's really vague. It's like meetings are weekly. Okay. I, I, I kneel down in front of uh, Dr. Azim. Can I use my psychology to determine what I think might be the right way to... Uh, prep him for me to ask him a hard question? I think, yeah, I like that. Prep. Nope. <laughs> not even a little bit. Not even anywhere near close. I say, when do they hold these meetings? <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> pushes him a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and then I feel around in his chest to yeah. see if he has all his shit. Who are these I'm, friends of yours? <laughs> She's like, shh, shh. <laughs> Uh, oh, I, I, you I, smell of horse. What? You smell of horse. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I see. Well, how many? I see. How many Mr. Carters? How many Professor Carters do you want on this campus, Doctor? <laughs> this, this rattles him. It, it just happened again. Then. <sighs> these these cultists. These, these monsters. He doesn't use the word cultist. Forgive yeah. me. He wouldn't say that. Yeah. He would say these. Uh, actually, he monsters might. Monsters works. It's monsters yeah. for sure. But he. Uh, I mean, he doesn't know. Well, you know what? Lovecraftian cultist has a certain uh, bent to it. But these motherfuckers are. I just read their book. They're, yeah. This is a fucking cult. Yeah. <laughs> they Period. said it was a program. Well, uh, okay. <laughs> they would say that. It was an MLM. <laughs> That's right. We go and Susan and she's like, if you could just tell us when the meeting was, maybe we could make things a little better. I, I know that Dr. Carter had a tendency to go for long periods on uh, Wednesday nights, typically. There we go. What day is today? It's Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> it's Monday? It's Wednesday. Why, that's tonight. <gasps> How many hours do we have between now? I mean, like, it's still in the afternoon, right? It's, yeah, it's still, it's like late afternoon, yeah. It's still okay. maybe four o'clock, yeah. Uh, I would like to, before we come back, 
I would like to perform last rites on Mr. Bleeker. Mm. I just think it's a good idea. Go back to the house? Do you, yeah, do you, yeah, we can come back later tonight, maybe with guns. Can I ask? <laughs> do, do detectives usually perform last rites? It's a part, it's one of the common services that oh. they provide, yes. Can I, There's can a lot I, about this profession you don't know, no, but if you stick I'm, with me, I'm you're going to gonna figure it all out. <laughs> can, I use, can I use library use to see if I've read up on detective duties and know whether last rites... <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, I get a one, so I, I, have, I know everything about detectives from a book I read. And why out. am I following him? <laughs> Yeah, I could you get a one. To... Detectives do not perform last rites. <gasps> what? I Surprise offer... face. <laughs> <laughs> You're so good. I offer, I offer a boutique service. It's comprehensive. You want me to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw it in for free. I was going to say, roll to persuade? Yep. <laughs> I just think there's maybe something that the detective is not telling us. And if we are detectives, we should detect the detect of the... It's too high. <laughs> it's, it's much, much too high for my skill in that. But... Uh, Saying you'll throw it in for free, though. Uh, I, I was going to say, yeah, that's the main thing, is that it's not going to cost you anything, and your father is so far in. And I, sh I just like, shake the book in my left hand. Yeah. And I say, he has traveled so far into this, into this program of theirs that I think that it would be safest if we were to just perform the basic, the most simple holy obeisances. You really, really should let me do it. Um. I'm, I'm inclined to, to agree uh, with what you're saying. I, <clears throat> as long as you're willing to tell that cop it was a murder. Yes. <laughs> do whatever you want to my dead dad, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, and, and I, I say, I think that I can make that case quite well. And what's more, I, I think that he is, I think that he's one of many. Okay. You had me at obediences. <laughs> You, but your English is so low. How do you know <laughs> what? Uh, you're mystified by like, the word. Like, what? But, you know, when you don't know anything, you just get used to just like echoing words back mm -hmm. and pretending like you know, like, oh yeah, obediences. Mm -hmm. And just like mm -hmm. echoes in the emptiness. Mm -hmm. um, I think it would be good. And I, I say also, if you have a, a gun or a rifle, something like that, uh, we should, you should bring it. We have a lot of rifles in our old house. We could go... Uh, Skeet shooting with uh, pigs. Evelyn writes this down. It's yeah. <laughs> kind of like pull. And... I. Wee, wee, wee. You're sort talking of... about a sort of like a, a porcine catapult? Yeah, oh yeah. It's sort of like a we have a lot of pigs. It's like when all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. <laughs> There's pigs all over the goddamn place. <laughs> Yeah, they're just like us. It's like, you know, when, when all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a pig skull. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want the rifles or you don't want the rifles? <laughs> no. Let's come back and let's keep them in the car. Okay. Okay, yeah. well, what would you wish to do for the, for the next uh, few hours before the stakeout occur? Well, I was occur? just going to say, for my part, as we go back, I mean, I know how to do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, it sounds like, yeah, we go back... We perform rites on the body in case there's some occult thing. This is table talking. I would say we shadow the rites probably while it's happening. Yeah. We just mimic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then get the guns because we yeah. have guns in the mansion. Yeah. yeah, but I ask, I definitely ask them. It's absolutely fine. They should see it. Um, but they have to, it's something they can watch from 15 to 20 feet sure. away. Yeah. So that's such that the rites soak into just want, the one I wanted to take like oh. carry over. I, don't, I say I don't want uh, either of you to be righted yeah. inadvertently that does seem to be how it works yeah we know our rights yeah <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that was very good. <laughs> I'm Dr. international. Z. I'm an internationally <laughs> famous comedian. Yeah. But I make he, he is. He is. <laughs> but now that I've now that I've read the rest of it, like I don't know what happens next. Like if, if he wasn't able to make it all the way through, all the way to the end of this, hmm. uh, and there's no bullet, and I don't actually know about this. But I feel like it's good. We're gonna have a little holy inoculation. Yeah. It's just sure. a good idea. Enjoy it, yeah. You uh, may return to the site, <laughs> to, the, to the scene. Uh, I, uh, I confer real quick with Omen and I yes. just say, is it worth bringing Dr. Azim? He seems to know all this stuff. I think that Dr. Azim is not uh, prepared for that. He's not. <laughs> I can tell you from experience. He's over my other shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> I no. <laughs> no. But by the same token, it may be better for him to come because if they're continuing to press him and he had the best relationship with this missing person and we know what they're capable of, I think it might be a good idea for him to be with us for his own protection. Yeah. Uh, yeah, considering everything that you said and that this has happened again and will continue to happen. Uh, uh, Dr. Azim kind of <sighs> short, sharp breath and says, uh, I'm ready. I will join you. Perfect. Yeah, we, we, have, we have room. Uh, so we'll go back. Do you have room, things. I guess is the question. It's your car. Is yeah. there room? Oh, certainly. <laughs> no worries. I fit at least 10 people from from, you know, well, Theta. From, from the, TIT. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the boys from Theta all just pile in the back. We go on all sorts of adventures. It's fine. Yeah, on top, it's like mm -hmm. the, whole, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Was that a thing back then yet? Yeah. Like stuffing a phone booth? No, that's like later. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, yeah, you return to uh, the, the Bleecker building. Um, and uh, there's still a, a police car out front. And... Uh, a few officers are conferring. It's maybe been an hour and a half since uh, a, uh, as you pull up, you see descending the stairs uh, the officer that you spoke with before. And uh, he sees you uh, approach and says, uh, ah, back so soon? Body's just still up there, <laughs> waiting on the corner, just the meat wagon to take it away. Is there anything else you'd like to do with it, uh, Mr. Bleeker? I do it now before it heads down to uh, the morgue. I will. <laughs> As is your right. <laughs> I know my rights. <laughs> Technically, I... the, the body is yours. <laughs> I think that's how that works. <laughs> I, I take Dr. Azim's hand and I'm like, now remember, no matter what you see, you should keep all of your internal organs. And if, it's like an after school special. It's like, <laughs> hey kids. Don't let anyone convince you that those are better out than in. Every day I do my best. Okay. Now the campaign is called the in crowd. <laughs> 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 hey kids, want to be part of the in crowd? Let me get let me get those guts. Uh, okay, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Big sign. <laughs> First thing Timmy did wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you'll you'll proceed back into the office. Yeah, absolutely. Take off. I take off my jacket, hang it up outside, put my collar on. Yeah. The uh, oh, okay. The full deal. No, yeah. The, yeah. End to end. Okay. Anybody, I, I can't leave this to chance. Anybody surprised? I was going to say, that takes me taken aback, I guess. That takes me back. Like, oh, I remember you that. You know what? That takes me back. That takes me back. Ah, <laughs> oh, the good old days. I, I just, I find it very strange that I, I just keep seeing this priest that I saw, and you just keep telling me that you're not that priest, and I just, I would never <laughs> stoop to, you know, contradict someone's word that I had just met, but I just, I really feel like there's some priest... Without, without yeah. looking back, um, I'll just produce my crucifix uh, out of my shirt, and I say, I heard he retired. Uh, I know. <laughs> but seeing him in 
seeing this familiar face, mm -hmm. this familiar priest in priest garb, yeah. really seems to stick in that memory. Like that's it, it, doesn't fit. I, I, I consider myself a polite person, yeah. and I don't want to make a, a skeptical face yeah. at him. <laughs> From what I've known of you, you your instincts are usually right on. But, you know, he's dressed as a priest, which makes him seem very honest. And so I have to believe him when he, say, he says he's not a priest. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That is true. Thank if he you. is the priest, I remember he would never lie. I, I don't know. That's I'll make a, a thoughtful face about it. Mm, that's good. <laughs> that's strong. I, I, I do it correctly, but quickly. What, the dressing? <laughs> the, the, the ritual. Oh, okay, yeah. You, you come into the room, and uh, by now the body is tastefully covered with a white sheet. Um, I mean, still sunken in some places. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, oh, it's just like the depressions? Yeah. Uh, Ew. Yeah, how, did, how are the rites performed? It's just, it's just a reading over the body, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's something, that, it's something that he knows how to do. Uh, I don't. I'm not a priest. Oh yeah, you, Jerry, are not a priest. This is the thing the character knows how to. The do. character knows how to do it right. Okay, uh, I just want to figure out how long it is. It's pretty short, as I recall. Um, I, I read it super fast. <laughs> just rifle through it. Yeah, yeah. Just give him a medley. Yeah. Just the Jesus, top Jesus, notes. Jesus, Jesus, yeah. Jesus. Anybody that's not Jesus, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, as you perform uh, these <laughs> rites, yeah. For the <laughs> <laughs> I want to meet this person if doing the you, captions. If you want to drink tonight, let me know. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, as you perform these last rites, in as an expedient a way uh, as you can. Yeah. Is it from fear? Yeah. Okay. Well, because uh, I mean, I, I close it. Once I figured out that it was the same thing, yeah. once, once I matched this to that, I, and the fact that they're dead the way that we, we were looking at it, there's no pulse, like there's no heartbeat. Yeah. But they're not, they're not, killed with the gun or murdered, like, I don't know what happens yeah. next. You feel this for the first time in ever doing this. You feel like the rites are just words. You feel that they are hollow. Like, it didn't work. It didn't <gasps> take. It's just some sounds. Yeah, even though you, you feel as much conviction as you ever did when you're saying them now. It's still, there's something, uh, there's something cheap about them or meaningless. And uh, in the room, you sense, each of you sense a, uh, like a, it's almost like the, the edges of the room are, are lit in a way that, at the at the at the corner the seams. and at the seams, uh, and that light dances uh, as would perhaps a, a, a green flame. <laughs> Evelyn steps in front of Doctor Azim and like mom arms him back and stands protectively. Yeah, Doctor Azim was already uncomfortable with the idea of the body in the room, but uh, it's clear that he's also witnessing this. Uh, Charles, you begin to see a vision. Mm. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> He's allowed. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, relax. We're pretending. You see a vision of yourself wanting to, uh, wanting to relate this story of yourself uh -huh. in the future trying to film this thing with your learnings from this detective work. Uh -huh. And no 
No sound will come out of your mouth. It's just silence. <gasps> it's heaven. Nothing. The, the executives are standing saying, well, well, nothing. The words that appear in front of you that you've said, the executives refuse to read it. They're not reading it. They're waiting to hear something. And there around you, you see devilishly laughing Buster Keaton, Laurel and Hardy, mm. Harold Laurel and, Lloyd. Laurel and Hardy? They're both laughing <gasps> derisively, not because they enjoy your work, but because you are a fool. Roll for sanity. <laughs> I'm so sad. I didn't know. How are we doing? Uh, oh, just, just like one above. Mm. I have 41 sanity, and I rolled a 42. You, you can yeah. get onto it with a luck. Oh, luck, luck. Yeah. yeah. Just a little luck. I can, t I can handle this. All right. Yeah. One deep breath, and you're good. <sighs> for a second, it's like, ugh. No, I got this. Yeah, center yourself. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, the, so the vision of this dancing green light persists. And this is new. This is, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> sure. No. So now, you tell me, you're the priest. Does this happen every time you do? Uh, this doesn't, <laughs> I don't remember this. I don't remember this. Yeah. What will you do? Um. The light has, it, it seems to flare and, and then has diminished, but not to down to zero. I am, I pull the top of the sheet down. You grasp the top of the sheet? I, just, I, wanna, I, just, I wanna see if, any, if these things are connected. I wanna perform a kind of science. Uh, you grasp the sheet, pull it back, and for a moment, there is the body of uh, W.M. Bleeker there. And relief. Lying on the floor, but as you are pulling it, uh, the body just sinks into the floor and, you know, clips the plane of the, of the rug, of the carpeted ground, uh, and just travels downward until it is not in the room anymore. No. Everybody roll sanity check. Oh. That's not how bodies work. <laughs> yeah. I fail miserably. Oh, yeah. I'm good. Now we're getting into business. Ooh, I just, I just barely am sane. <laughs> Congratulations. I came out yeah. on top of this one. <laughs> I think I'm just saying, I'm just sort of like, huh, problem solved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a seat. Those last rites did the trick. Ooh, yeah. That was going to be the whole afternoon. Yeah. I mean, it, for, for all intents and purposes, it looks like I did a great job. <laughs> yeah. Roll a d4 for me, please. And then remove that number. Three. I did not, yeah. I failed by like almost 60 points. Okay, it was a very bad fail. That's a hot failure. What was the actual roll? Uh, I think I rolled 61 and my sanity is currently Cheat 33. Okay. 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 So I, and I yeah. lose another three, so make that 30. Okay. Uh, uh, Dr. Azim yelps and he just runs from the room. Yeah. He runs back down the stairs. That makes sense. So the body has disappeared. I'm going to get very close to one of these corners. Mm, okay. Like, with trepidation, I just I want to see it up close. Uh, as you, you turn to approach, and the light is now gone. Uh, and and you, you had seen it in your peripheral as, the, yeah. as you watched the body descend, and it seems to you that it stopped when the body was gone. As though sated. The body just fell through the floor. We should just go downstairs. We could probably find the body. It's probably fine. I think it's in the family room now. <laughs> yeah, it's probably fine. It's probably just lying there. It, just, you know, it happens. It probably just, it just falls through the floor. It's fine. How many floors is this building? <laughs> Six. <laughs> <laughs> That's all? Yeah. You like that? Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. No, if you know anything about 1930s uh, architecture, you know that they could only build five floors in a building like this for a long time. Yeah. So six, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. awesome. It's that's like a skyscraper. Good. Yeah, that's the good <laughs> stuff. Uh, okay, yeah, I don't have a good explanation for that. I hope no one asks <laughs> me about it uh, soon. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the hell did you do? I, 
I said, uh, I, I looked down, and, and the sheet's there. The sheet's still there, yeah. Is this why you retired, because you made bodies fall through floors? I say, this, this isn't something I'm doing. Are you sure? That's, this is definitely not how it works. Well, what is doing? Uh, and I, I, I pull the, I produce the book, and I, I say, it's, it's these people. It's this university. Yeah, do you all, um, I mean, does the book fall open any of those pages? Or it's just, you just holding no, it? No, I don't, I don't let, I don't expose anyone else to it. Okay. Yeah. I just say it's it's these it's these people. This is not a, a health fad. This is not a, a, these are not good people. Yeah. Now the now I agree. you know that the that there is a there is a floor below here. Yeah. Because you came up the stairs. It's mm -hmm. like a like a receiving area, like a receptionist area. Um. Yeah, and I'm freaked out. I'm freaked out because weird stuff's happening. Uh, is the gun still in here, or did the police take the gun? No, the gun is still here. The gun is still here on the desk. I, uh, I try to pocket the gun. As Roll to pocket. Slightly. Pocket. Successful pocketing. What is that? No, jump? I, 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 it's um, jump. I could jump like a mother. You want me to jump? I it's, jump on the desk and I go, no, it's, ha ha! <laughs> it's, 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 it's intimidating. No, from the ground. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I'm talking like a six-foot vert. I want to see you intimidate the gun, where you're like, get out of my pocket. <laughs> see if it's a whip. <laughs> I'll do it. Me. I got great intimidate stats, too. Yeah, you, no, you pick up the gun. Okay. You're fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, pick up that gun. All right. Where do you, where do you want to go? Uh, on, I just put it in my pocket just because I want to enjoy the gun. Defend myself. And then I say, we should get the rifles. We should no. go downstairs and see the get, body, and we should get some rifles. Get rifles. Put them in the car. Um, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, horrified and I don't want to know, but w we want to go to the room below this room fast. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you I grab that gun. Steady my nerves. Run down those stairs. Which don't mind me. Oh. I'm all freaked out. So I'm like, whoa, I grab this off the credenza. Ooh. We I, take a I've moment. Some nerves. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, geez. Ah, shucks. Can't believe it. Well, I mean, if we're all sitting down for a little glass of something. I mean, we just saw, we just we saw, just saw a body saw disappear. Body. I'm freaking out yeah. over here. That's a healthy boar. I mean, what yeah. happened when the sheet got down? Like, we don't want that to happen to us. We got to get no. sheet face. No, salute. <laughs> <laughs> Roman, any, no? <laughs> None for me. All right, you, you run downstairs. No, that's, that's right. You run downstairs, and uh, uh, downstairs, there, it's an open area. It's like a reception. There's uh, chairs and a... Open floor plan? Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. Thank you. That's a great room. Very modern. Yeah. Spared no expense. Uh, pot lights in the ceiling. It's like tasteful, natural lighting. Uh, you, who's in the front of the stairs? I'm the running floor. from here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Evelyn Maybe. actually walks with a cane, so it takes her a second to get down the stairs. She's well, she's and she can provide that extra support to Dr. Azim. He already ran away. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Dr. Azim's gone. Yeah. He's running around my house. Waving his arms like this. Scooby-Doo thing, he's just <laughs> running in one room and coming out of the thing. Look, if we're going to be running back and forth around a hall, we got to remember the order. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, show us how it's done. Uh, uh, you, so you're first, right? Yeah. You will need to make a sanity check because what oh, no. you see is uh, at the same angle that it had descended. You just make out the, uh, the shoulders and the head descend through the plane of this no. floor on this level. Uh, and by the time the others... It's gone. You no. make it down. It's not in the room anymore. It's gone down. Okay. I found the edge of this. I, f I found the edge of my sanity on this one. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Uh, now you, why don't you roll a, a little d4? Why don't you try one of them? That's three. All right. You're all pretty, doing pretty healthy, though, as far as, as far as I'm concerned. I'm sorry you're disappointed. I <laughs> hate this. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's gone. So the police are not in here. They're outside, okay. outside still doing whatever they're doing. But... Uh, 
Omen saw it go down on another floor. The rest of us didn't because we're a half step behind him. Yeah, you're just behind him. Okay. Right. Where we did you say the rifles are? <laughs> In the basement. Oh, okay. You didn't install like a little a lift of any kind in the... I mean, we have... There's usually a bunch of servants running around. Uh. Just handing us guns. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a it's gun like servant? A, you have a gun no, butler? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I gun is, there a, is there a gun bell we could ring? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, yeah, it's you, uninstalled. You know that the layout of this building, uh, uh, the, the uh, um, refinery... No, that's not the right word. It's rendering. Yeah. It's like hog rendering. <laughs> the rendering? Oh my God, this is in my <laughs> parents' mansion? Oh, it's never been a mansion. Oh, These are offices, yeah. <laughs> Your parents don't want to be in house. <laughs> yeah. Kick off Chris. Oh. This, no, just, no, no, this no. just gets worse and worse, doesn't it? The deeper we get. Let's go down together. <laughs> oh, no. Do we smell the creosote? Oh, yeah. And it comforts you. <laughs> you, lo you love it. Yeah. You, you grew yeah, up it's like, it's like around brown it. sugar. It smells like money. <laughs> <coughs> you were born in it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know that the layout of this building, that these are, these are offices and a reception. Uh, up and then, above. Yeah, and then further down there are uh, packaging. Functional. Functional. Industrial. Uh, constructs. Meat. Right. Hooks. Conveyances and Great. so forth. Awesome. The killing floor. We, yes, precisely. We, ha we, have to, we have to... See how far down this goes, right? The humane yeah. killing floor. Yeah. It's not really a floor, it's a loose grate that catches the meat and the blood. It's like, oh, the, yeah. op it's like yeah. the opposite of a grill. It's next to the pig torture room. It's <laughs> <laughs> next to like the pig interrogation yeah. room. Because scared. Are you the most delicious one? Yeah. <laughs> we got another pig right next door and he's selling you out. Uh, Everyone's taking notes again. Yeah. Yeah. Dear yeah. Mr. L.A. Sander. <laughs> Scared meat tastes better. We had a whole research department confirm that. Evelyn's just kind of rocking and whispering, animal welfare, animal welfare, animal welfare. This, this is important work. Yeah. I think you would, you would identify with it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the science, the R&D department, like they did studies. They found out pigs have more emotions than humans. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they'd feel it worse than like if a person had been going through this. I feel like this has to be a sanity <laughs> check for Evelyn. Like, I, I mean, feel free to. I'd be delighted. Not that I want to, but I just, if it's true to the character. It's it's, true to the character. We found out it goes pigs, dolphins, then humans. I fail my sanity check. Okay, roll a d4. Just a... These Three. are just little sprinklings so far. Just little sprinklings. But I'm saying it like, you know. Are we close to the dolphin torture room? <laughs> Conversationally, no. That's in a different department. It's in Miami. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you, you know that there is a, there is a the stairs the, toward the back of this area mm -hmm. with, with like the equivalent of a mud room to protect the offices from anything untoward. Aromas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, essentially, we're, like, following this thing down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you descend the stairs. You are struck at this time of day. Number one, there's, there's no light down here. There's no, like, outer windows. Uh, but it is the early evening. Too early for it to be closing time. Uh... But there's no sense that workers were here and were told to leave because of the incident or anything like that. There uh, are no lights on down here in the killing floor. You see in this expanse, uh, which is maybe the size of an aircraft hangar, there are the, the glint of, of hooks on the ceiling what you assume are the, the conveyor belt uh, uh, on either side of the room uh, that, that descends into darkness at the far side. This is legit like a nightmare I had once. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do you rent this space out for parties? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pig parties. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> They're 24-7. Kids love it, yeah. <laughs> oh, parties for the pigs, that's nice. At least you take care of their, you know, entertainment. Oh, yeah. It's all part of the psychological, you gotta mess with their heads. 
It starts with the party. Yeah, yeah, they think everything's fine. (laughs) And then it's not. (laughs) Uh, You, uh, in the darkness, as you're peering down there, uh, and you're unsure of, like, where exactly the plane, they're like the vector yeah, lines exactly. up From where the body goes down. down. Yeah. yeah, you're not quite sure where that is in the space. Uh, but you can see at the far edge another uh, uh, a glint along a seam at that the bottom of the glow? floor. That green flame. <laughs> uh, before it, it goes completely dark again. Okay, so it's, it's being consumed again. Each of, each of these times it's just traveling between these places somehow. Yeah. And it's, uh, uh, upon it being dark again, you hear something like, uh, like a, a plodding sound, like a, like a footfall. I think we can all agree no on that. <laughs> no, no, I, yeah. I, say, I say, Mr. Bleeker, uh, get the lights on. I go for the lights. You die. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, man. Uh, I, I should have investigated. Uh, uh, rookie mistake. Up, I know. Oh, no, you, I shoot uh, the lights. <laughs> you're back alive again. Hey. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you reach over on the wall where you know one of the, one of the large switches is. Mm-hmm. And uh, you pull it. And uh, the lights overhead nearest to you do turn on and cast a lot of uh, much more light than was before into mm. the room. And at the far back, you now see two uh, small, I mean, two human figures uh, in the darkness. Uh, and near them mm-hmm. is a, a beast. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a I feel beast. like a super frown emoji right yeah. now. A shape in the dark that is uh, maybe twice as tall as either of them. So there's two human figures, and then there's this other Oh, no, 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 Mm -mm. Oh, God. Nope, 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 nope. Sanity check. Sanity check, please. (laughs) Did you draw this? Yes. You did? It's my greatest creation. All of us see this? Yes, you all see it. In this light, it's, it's pretty clear. I can stay more sane looking at this than I can hearing about pig welfare, apparently. Is the structure on its back like a, like a dandelion? Like a... Yeah. So what you see at this distance uh, is, um, it's very tall, seems to have two very long legs, with one too many joints. Uh, these are, uh, they look like a rib, a rib cage protruding. And then at the back of the thing is a, is a um, uh, like a large, um, almost like a, a sack. You know, it, it didn't exa- exist back then, but you know those plasma, yeah, uh, plasma balls where you can touch that and then the little wisps yeah. come off? That is what that resembles. Like there are structures inside and the light glints off of these things, these things that seem to, uh, terminate down uh, what you can tell is uh, the head of a person thrown back. Oh, yes. oh my how were your sanity rolls, by the way? It was bad. Um, yes. what, do I, yeah. what do I roll for how much I lose? I think uh, maybe roll... Um, gosh, how about a d10? Uh, At I, this point. Oh, only two. Thank the Lord. Oh, nice. Okay. I rolled, a, I rolled a 99, so I'm pretty sure I shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> God, okay, hold on a second. There's a, these special cases, because I think that is a technical term in the book, is a, a, a pants shit. <laughs> Ooh. I just pray that my pants don't fall down oh, again. No. Oh, no. no. It's just the weight. <laughs> the slow fall. <laughs> God, I want to say, do you take the max at that point? I don't think you do. No, it's, 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 no. If, you roll, if you roll 100, it's... That's 100 is absolutely... I know there's a range for... A fuck for fest. Worst, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. A fuck fest? Yeah. Oh, no. That's, that's, that's the technical term, yeah. 
No. Keep your pants on. Okay. No, I roll a, a d10. Okay. Yeah. Could be voice. Yeah. I was 10 off, but I used 10 luck. Hmm. I'm starting to get ground up here, for real. So Evelyn's like, that's unpleasant, but at least it's not an animal. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. Well, not anymore. It, I mean, it was a human. And that's, uh, that's sad, but. Uh, at the, at the, the turning on of the light, you yeah. see uh, this creature loping, like, sort of like a giraffe, like it has that gait. Mm. Uh, oh, that heavy sort of heavy, leaning. yeah, long neck. Um, that gives me the and it, and it, it seems to start a little bit at the light, and uh, the two robed figures um, as well. They they start, and uh, you hear uh, one of them shout to the other, "Protect the Threnodite." Threnodite. And they they both reach into their robes and. Uh, Draw small glinting blades. What? I, I yell at them. I say, "You're trespassing. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> you get out of here, and you take that whatever that is with you." <laughs> Roll they, to persuade. They, they. Oh, can I intimidate? Yeah. I say I'm really mean, let's, though. Let's try. Yeah. They, they I'm put, like, hey. They with put their all the authority back. of a yeah. trust fund. They go, we have, we have visitor badges? Is that not, is this not cool? Or what do you... We checked in at I mean, the front desk. I'll roll to yeah. intimidate. Can I, no. <laughs> can I Dude, back yeah. him up with no, like my, my giant uh, magnifying glass? Like, <laughs> sure. Menacingly. Yeah. 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 Right you put it over my face so my yeah. scowl looks uh, bigger. Now they have to roll sanity. All right. Uh, no, so I'm going to, all right, I'm intimidating. <laughs> okay, now you go ahead. Five. A five. Okay, so I win, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, no, no that's very good. That. I intimidate yeah, the where, where, shit out of him. Where, where's your shit? 65. <laughs> yeah, 65, but look at, look at what this means here, my friend. All the way down here, if you're under 13%, that means that you fucking you oh. did this as well as it can be done. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. They're scared. Uh, hmm. I to the extent this. it matters. Yeah, yeah I How he this. acted towards the Thanodite, they act towards me. I'm their equivalent. He uh, shit a sack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were, like, starting to run at the party. Uh, but at, upon you saying that... Uh, what are you doing here? Yeah, <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of my factory. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, upon saying that, they, they stop in their tracks holding the, the knife, and they go, The pork boy knows. <laughs> <laughs> I go, pork man! I'm a pork man! And I stomp. Uh, they, uh... <laughs> they run in terror. No, one, one stands with a knife outstretched uh, and whispers something to his uh, uh, compatriot who uh, runs back to this, this creature which, um, you know, at this sudden noise, you can see is now sort of, uh, it's almost like staggering, like a newborn, like a fawn. Uh, and... Oh, just like, like knobby knee. Yeah. Mm. Um, and, Bambi action. And it, uh, the, other, the other fellow uh, runs over and then kneels before it, uh, and it seems to be saying words to it. But the other, uh, the other cultist is still standing with the knife pointed. Mm. At this distance, I mean, knife's not going to do anything. But yeah. Yeah. And I, I go, oh, you're not going to leave? And then I show him the gun. I go, any, but now what do you think? <laughs> Intimidate again? <laughs> What's my gun's intimidation stat? A <laughs> hundred? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, yeah, you, you brandish the gun and the, uh, and, and the cultist brandishes the knife. But we're like really far apart. Yes, it's a it's a Mexican standoff. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, good. Who's gonna flinch? <laughs> Sixty yards away. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yes. Uh, I don't know that I want to kill someone. I'm just confused. Here, so what? I'm just going. Mm -mm. Tell me more about this place, because you would know, right? Yeah. So this this is a a mechanized killing floor mm -hmm. with conveyor belts. Mm -hmm. Top yeah. of the line uh, murder facility. 
we like to say. <laughs> we're, you we're pretty, know what? It's, we're, it's all right. We're kind of proud. <laughs> we're kind of proud. We could kill at twice the speed of our closest competitor. Yeah, you see, yeah, there are clearly two conveyor belts on either side. Yeah. Maybe, uh, uh, and these enemies are uh, between them by maybe, maybe like 20 feet on either side to reach those belts. There's also, uh, you know, various hooks. Yeah, say mechanized hooks. There's mechanized hooks, yes. There, uh, there's a, there's a, a, a beam and a, like a, a, a crane that would be used to carry a weight and a hook. Yes, yeah, and there's like it. a giant arm that just shoots a little bolt out. Are the conveyor belts moving right now? No, 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 no. none no. of these are on. But I have the same idea. Mm -hmm. if, if, if there's so, we can't, this is some kind of uh, god baby. Uh, like, uh, we can't like, fist fight it, but we have to try to create an environment that is inimical to god babies. Harder than you think. Yeah. yeah, you had me at inimical, right? I know, exactly. <laughs> Which we know what that means. Mm -hmm. We have, it can't be safe. Mm. No. For them. No. <clears throat> uh, and so so you, you, have your, you have your gun, you have it I trained got, on him. I got it trained on the guy who's yeah. brandishing the knife. Yeah, and I, 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 just behind you I say, where are the controls for this room? Do I um, make it up or do you want to tell me? <laughs> They're right next to us. They're in my pocket. They're oh. right here. <laughs> I said, oh. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a remote that yeah. you have, and you just click. And the and the the monster is right next to a giant saw. Yeah. Just hit that thing. <laughs> it's standing right on. Yeah, <laughs> it's standing on the giant platform that opens. Yeah. No, you know that the uh, uh, you can descend this flight of stairs, mm -hmm. and then along uh, the wall before the conveyor belt starts, there is a uh, a, a small flight of stairs up, and a rail, and then there's all of the controls are okay. right there. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. That. So he, he indicates that to me, and so while he's got this pointed here, I'm gonna try to take that set of stairs while they're looking elsewhere. While one is worshiping its gross thing, and the other one is waving its sacrificial knife, I'm gonna try to sneak down this other staircase and uh, try to figure out the controls for this place. Okay. Can I uh, can I tell them that the the guns are on this floor too, like where we came in. Oh, what do you mean? Like our armory. We were in here to get guns. There, I know there are guns in the building. Can I tell yeah, you? Yeah. You did say they were in the basement. The two of them to go get the guns while he's turning this on and I've got it trained on that guy. Uh, yeah, I will allow that. Sure. I think that's acceptable. Okay. Because what's one guy with a knife gonna do at this range? Yeah. Right. So while I've seemingly got him <laughs> in a stare down, <laughs> And Omen's running for that, I tell you too, that the guns are one room over in another storeroom. We run so, you for know, the, do yeah, what yeah. you want with that. Well, <laughs> you run for the guns. Okay. I, I want to, um, if that's okay. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I mean, not that's to give you an assignment. Like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm, I'll get the, that's okay. I'll okay. get the guns. Okay, great, away. awesome. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> can I use my knowledge of the natural world to try to look at this monster because I have an inkling that this human head inside the sack might be somehow recognizable. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, Why? I mean, you can. Is that what you're trying to discern? Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. trying to learn whatever I can about this creature, but the reason I started looking was because, like, whose head is in there? <laughs> I'm not sure how much you'd be able to tell at this distance. Mm. You're gonna have to get very close to it. So just head okay. down there. Okay. So yeah. then, in that case, um, looking at all of this machinery, uh, you'd be surprised to know that Evelyn actually knows very well how to operate heavy machinery. Ooh. So she's trying to figure out, like, if there's a crane or one of those hooks that okay. she can just kind of like hop up on and grab and do like a little flyby. Ooh. You should. Yeah. I mean, you should come hang out with me. I mean. I am at this device. Like you're, you're about to see a lot of knobs and levers. Yeah. Uh, and, and I'm gonna. And, and, right and now, I'm king knob. No, and, I'm, and, and I'm just like. Yeah. Just looking busy. Yeah. So <laughs> Evelyn runs up behind him, hits like exactly the right button, and just like catapults off like. The, with, with especially like her strongest leg and she jumps up, pushes the button as it swings by and grabs the hook and she's like, gives him a wink. 
action movie this is, time. This is Call of Cthulhu. This is not. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's like eight or ten different roles to see if that works. Okay, 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 fine. That's, that's what Evelyn does in her head as a movie star. <laughs> What she actually does is, is walks over slowly and considers the control panel <laughs> and uh, tries to do an operate heavy machinery check. Yeah, so you're trying, you're trying to activate like this, 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 this crane yeah. system on the top. 96. Oh, That's no. a fail of almost no, any Isn't that a six? Oh, a 90. 96. Oh. The six was good. Yeah, it was like a six ain't bad. Yeah. It's like woof. Well, you know, Evelyn's very good with heavy machinery, but when it comes to uh, weapons of mass animal murder, it turns out she's not very experienced. Yeah, you've tried not to learn about this. Yeah. I was going to say that this, is, this machinery is actually, like, pigs are not, they don't weigh that much. Mm. So this is actually light machinery, mm. and you didn't really learn about it. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> Medium weight. Yeah, at yeah. best, at best. Um, I mean, we do our best to fatten them up. It's like no range pigs. You're talking about this in yeah. the middle. <laughs> Even like la la la. Uh, at, uh, so yeah, you're in the other. Yeah, I'm like elsewhere, uh, right? Yeah, there's a. I'm trying to get into the next room to get the guns. Yeah. Uh, I'm going as fast as I can, but I'm also like, he said over here. It's yeah. it? uh, it's opening. like a storage room yeah. adjacent That's, to where you enter yeah. when you go downstairs. Okay. For any unruly pigs that might go, you know. Yeah. Sure. That's good for you. Uh, okay. Because oh. you see the you see the the thrinidite, uh sort of hunker down, Ugh. and it uh, it seems to strain, and you see uh, from this this orb behind it, no, uh, mm -mm. Uh, t tendrils, little no. filaments mm -mm. emerge, mm -mm. and uh, each of you, another sanity check, please. As upon seeing this, I feel by rolling another ninety six. Wow, that's got to be worth something. Yeah, boy. Safe. So I don't uh, say any of this, because I'm in the next no, room. No, you're fine. Yeah, I'm like, do I want the little gun thing. or the big <laughs> gun? Yeah. You know what? Why choose? <laughs> oh, both. Yeah, you're like, how do I work this into the movie? Like, know, is this yeah, funny oh, yeah. if I get a bag full of these guns? Hey, so I joined <laughs> Evelyn in the 96 Club. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's, all, let's roll them D4s then. Let's D4 see where we're at. D4 or D10? Uh, this time it's a D4. Okay. Only one. That's so nice. Congratulations. Thank How about you? you? Big boy. Uh, I beat it. Now you're good. <laughs> he did okay. a great job. I, I got a three. I'm, I'm too comforted by all this familiar setting. <laughs> yeah, the scent. Yeah, all the murder. No, all no, the, no, all the... He, sees that, he sees that crust uh, that's sort of clinging to all the machinery, and it just it puts him at ease. Mm -hmm. Home. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the cultist who's nearest to you uh, says... Uh, uh, all will be made worthy. Why not join us? I say, I'm listening, and I'm trying to figure out how I can swing a hook <laughs> somewhere in the middle of this place, yeah, or at you... least activate the um, the conveyors and just try to create a just create a, a different environment. Okay, let's uh, you try it. Let's see. I mean, is it like another heavy machinery? I suppose. Give it a shot. Now, I'm looking for the words, like forward, uh, a big button. Yeah. Yeah. Can I, I mean, I, can I yell and help him? I mean, I know the area. Yeah. I go use the brain oh. bolt, the big blue button. <laughs> There's a hydraulic arm that shoots a little thing into the pig's heads. Yeah, that's. We a... lovingly call it the brain bolt. <laughs> it's just fun. <laughs> There's a much longer term for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you want to yell that to him. I do. Uh, I mean, it's, it's sort of, at this point, it's like 20 feet away at the end of the yeah. conveyor. It's nearest to the, what's going on. Mm. But, I mean, you'd still have to get somebody into it. It's a pretty tight space. Yeah. So you'd have to persuade, I guess, a cultist. Hey, why don't you go put your head in there, buddy? <laughs> I mean, he did, he did like 5% oh. last time. I mean, yeah, he did pretty good. My persuasion is not as good as my intimidation. I could, like, guilt him into it. You know what? You really fucked a lot of stuff up. Yeah, <laughs> you should feel bad about what you're doing. Put your head over there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just I'm flipping up plastic levers. I mean, I'm literally pushing every button on it. Mm. I'm not waiting to try to figure it out. I'm going to make something happen. Okay, you're... you're uh, you... Uh, trigger one lever, and 
uh, the conveyor belt on your side of the room uh, begins to roll toward you, <laughs> toward your side, <laughs> away from the bolt. It is in motion now. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I feel like it's going the wrong way. What if you turn the lever the other way? I'll try that. Aha, now we have something. <laughs> <laughs> now you're thinking of portals. It just stops again. You're, no. thinking, you're thinking with porkles. <laughs> you know, it's, it, it's running the other way, and the, the cultist looks at it and says, you're only de delaying the inevitable. There's nothing for you to do here. The, the work is done already. And if you stop us, it will just be done again. I shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah. Let's see, how does that work? I got a firearm skill. It's my, fire, my, my handgun skill is not as good as my rifle slash shotgun. Yeah. So any, any time you want to jump in here. Mm -hmm. I'm in the next room like playing with, I got distracted. I'm yeah. playing with the guns like going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like Charlie <laughs> Chaplin. No, no. Yeah, the two. Yeah. Yeah. The classic yeah. routine. And, but I hear the gunshot. I'm like, oh shit, I forgot. So yeah, so I have a, a 35 in my handgun. So it's, it's just a roll to hit sort yep, of thing? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Me. yeah. Okay. You're, you're no stranger yep. to this. Let's check. 93, all right. Warning shot. Warning shot. I go, hey, shut up. <laughs> he doesn't even flinch. It Ooh. does not bother him that you have a gun. Oh. Wow. What do you mean the work is done and it'll be done again? What do you mean? Uh, we are but the, the merest forepaw of a much larger beast. That beast? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is merely one of these. This is this blessing. This this return to natural order that was stolen from us. It's pure. I, I, I say that out loud. I'm like, it's pure. It's perfect. It's like a. Oh God. It's without consciousness. I'm like, I'm like, this is this is their plan. I, 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 I said, You're saying this that is a lot. your plan. Yeah, I say this is your plan. He is almost pleading now. He, he says, uh, he says, consciousness is for gods, not for us. Never for us. The uh, the the threnodite again bears down, and uh, I request another sanity check. Jeez, what the hell is it? Uh, I've sort of started to run it back in yeah. with the yeah. gun, so I assume I'm... And you're clean. Just yeah. in time to so see. You <laughs> haven't, yeah, you don't catch the edge of that one. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, no, so the golden boy. Well, uh, I gotta spend 20 more luck to beat that one. Evelyn, uh... uh so I do. <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead. Just You'll never get me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna live forever. Yeah. <laughs> Take a no. swig. Yeah. No. I, I get back on, uh, uh, I regain my psychological footing uh, in this moment. Mm. Oh, okay, good for you, yeah. Uh, in, oh, sorry. Just... Evelyn is almost like sobered by this explanation and by what's happening <laughs> with the creature. And it's like she just comes to a decision of like, no, this won't do. <laughs> and she unscrews the top of her cane, which is actually a revolver, <laughs> takes aim and shoots at the monster. Just, no, mm-mm. Mm yeah, what's, how's that work? Roll that. She? Because I, I, I mean, gosh, I like what's happening. <laughs> she would miss, but I am just as committed to my shot as Ryan was to his sanity, so I'm going to spend the luck points. So I'm going to spend nine luck points to um, hit, it. hit it. Yeah. Let's see. With my revolver, which does uh, 1d10 plus two damage. Uh, yeah, let's roll for them. That is 10 damage. Mm. So, you, and you spent luck like, points to just make the threshold, you just yeah, got down exactly. there? Okay, okay. So that's, it's not like a particularly, it's not it's a not focus higher. shot. Yeah. Yeah, but you do hit it like square in the body. Uh, the, uh, you see um, that, that rib cage there and then that large structure behind. You, your shot, uh, manages to pierce like at that rib cage where uh, upon where you hear a uh, a sharp 
uh, uh, cry that sounds human. Oh. And, and you notice that within that, that cage, uh, there is, in fact, another head. Close, looking closer at it now, you believe that there are perhaps four heads in a row. Oh. Hmm. Stored Inside? here. Inside? Yes, as like a kind of psychic battery oh. that needs mm -mm. these people mm -mm. to do its okay. work. It's a plenty, H it's a plenty pack. Humans. Yeah. Head of heat. <laughs> I don't like it. No, you don't like it. No. A bit. So it's mewling inside the kill. But I have been told it doesn't have consciousness, and I do see that it is an abomination, so I am shooting without reservation. Oh, so you're just like going. Yeah, it's no horse. Just, she made the decision. Like, just. Yeah, <laughs> fan the hammer. <laughs> um, the, uh, the, the cultist down there closest, like, cries out and, and says, No! Yes. <laughs> he says, disagree. And he, he, he runs up. Uh, let's see, where are you located right now? Are you at the top at of the, the stairs still? Yeah, we're, we're together, yeah. Okay, he's, yeah, he's just rushing the both of you with the, with the blade. I'll Perfect. hand you the other half of my cane, which is now a club. Yeah, I'm ready. You yeah. go. Just hand it, yeah. catch it. In midair, and I want to give cover from the stairs. Yeah, yeah, and get get ready. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you should maybe try to get another shot on him when he's on his way. Yeah, and oh, I, I'm still in the other room, and I'm like, did doorknobs turn to the left? Yeah. <laughs> you have not come you out yet. Uh, got a drink or something? Come yeah, come you're come like, mm. <laughs> you did not come out yet. I, oh, I thought, okay. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, did you hear anything? Like, yeah, I, I hear, hear a bunch some of gunfire. Gunfire. Now. So yeah, I open the door finally. I figure it out. I come out with my guns. Uh, I have no skill to use a gun at all. You're just bringing them in for everybody yeah, else. Like, hey guys, who wants guns? Arm full of rifles? Yeah. yeah. All right. Even raises out. her hand. I'll take another. Yeah, I swap out for a rifle for sure. All right. If there's time. This guy's a really slow runner. Yeah, he's, he's panting. He stops to catch his breath. <laughs> I didn't know. He's gonna get his hands, <laughs> he just his hands on his like, yeah. rogue knees. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I start tossing guns, which is probably unwise, but. Yeah. Here's a gun. Yeah, Here's a gun. gun for you. Gun for you. Like Oprah. <laughs> got firearms, Oprah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The uh, the the cultist is going to take a swing at you. Although now at close range, you were shooting at this beast, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He'll he'll swing. That blade does not connect. <laughs> does not connect. It's a it's a lazy, sloppy. This may be a ceremonial knife. You don't even know if it has an it's edge on it. It's for a costume. Yeah. <laughs> it's for Halloween. Even scoffs. <laughs> well, here, maybe as, maybe as he swings through, um, uh, I'll, I'll counter with the club. Ooh, okay, yeah. So that he's, he's set up for it. Wrap him across the knuckles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oof. That is very good. I am going to... I'm one point off uh, hmm. from the crit uh, ex from extreme, but that's for unarmed. Or does it change with a club? Because that's the thing. I want to shoot with a rifle, and I realize I don't have my rifle. I don't. If I hit, I don't know my damage is. I need to look that up. I know that. Chris, a bunch of books here. I know that Chris can handle it. All right. Yeah, I, that's true. I can find it. I have the stats too. Okay. The yeah. the club that I gave you does one d eight plus your damage bonus. Ooh. Oh, perfect. Ooh All right. So if it's extreme, what goodies do I get? Gosh, um, it, you know, it's just a club, it's like a blackjack? Yeah, yeah, basically. Oh no, it's the cane, right? Yeah, it's, it's the, the end of my oh, cane. Okay, okay. Yeah, you, here, let me see here. I, I was using it as a club in the book. Okay, okay. You bring the club down. You can join the club. Yeah. Ooh. Have, have this cultist join your club. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a party uh, in the club, yeah. in fact. <laughs> you bring the club down and Given, given the swing that he set you up for, right. you bring it down on the back of his neck, Ooh. and he goes to the ground. I'll Ooh. take it. Yeah. Evelyn is impressed. <laughs> Very nice. We're not done. <laughs> and uh, I, I get ready for the next weirdo uh, to come over here. Yeah. Uh, the other weirdo is, he has not gotten up from his, his he's, prayer. He's still praying to this gross thing. Yeah. And you are now seeing, uh, now out of the, the heat of this, this 
hand-to-hand -hand combat, uh, you see the, the, the green flame. <gasps> upon the geometry of the edges of the room has begun to uh, flare up again. again. Yeah. Oh, dear God. Um, if you, when you were throwing guns around, I want to pocket my handgun and mm -hmm. get the rifle. And if we're just all shooting people now and going crazy and this is what it yeah. is, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a rifle shot because being rich, rich kid skeet shooting, yeah. he's better at it. And I have to yell pull before I shoot. <laughs> I go, pull! <laughs> and then I take a shot. But are you going right for that? Yeah, but the only monster? problem is I don't, have, I don't have rifle stats. So if I hit this, I don't know what I do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, wait, you said you had, you knew no. what the... No, I, ha handgun. I have a handgun. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me see what we got here. Because I'm going to hit. <laughs> You're going to hit. So let's just get, let's just skip the step. I won't even roll. We got it. Go ahead, roll. Just roll for it. Yeah, I got, I got a rifle Killed here. Killed it. I'm the greatest person that's ever lived. <laughs> what kind of rifle is it? This a is lot of different kind of rifles over here. Whatever is the strongest? <laughs> 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 An <laughs> elephant gun. <laughs> Given Whatever that rich people it's... have lying around in the yeah, basement. Yeah, because we like, they're like little pigs with elephant guns. Yeah. <laughs> Just, they explode. Pink okay. mist. <laughs> Slime. Yeah. There's, there's yeah, we make nuggets. It's pink slime, and we gather it all. <laughs> That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Who are you to judge? All right, we're rich. Yeah, there's stats for elephant gun here, but given that it's a, uh, given that it, <laughs> you use it for skeet shooting, yeah. I'm gonna say it's a, it's a uh, thirty, would, uh, like a lever action. I would say it's like a normal. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's okay. that? Uh, did you, did you hit? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, where were you? Hitting? Where were you hitting? Um. I think I'm aiming at the other, at the praying cultist. I was not aiming at the Just monster. clean up all the, the cult action. Yeah, I'm going after the ads. Yeah, well, so and that also, one. And also this thing, this thing is weird. It's like some kind of a larval, like, baby version of whatever it is. Like, without the cultist to take care of it, I don't even know what it's capable of, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. sort of just seeing it. Well, yeah, it's new for you. Yeah, oh, that's right. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the party. Yeah. yeah. I think you should also have to make a sandwich. Yeah. Right, so what's the, what's the damage on the cultist? Uh, damage is going to be uh, uh, 2d6. 2d6 plus uh, db. Everything seems like it's plus db. Plus what? That damage bonus. That would be a 99. <laughs> oh, that's three. Good pants. <laughs> Quality pants. I do eight. Eight points. Eight? Okay. Um, I imagine you turning to the camera with a like. Like. <laughs> and you, and you, catch the, you catch the cultist, right? The yeah, yeah. I was going for the cultist, yeah. The one praying. The okay. one who didn't even know. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> he screams out uh, even amid his, whatever uh, words he's uttering. And even though you, you tag him, he did not stop praying. Mm -hmm. You hear those, those, that strange language is just... It's just uttered in agony instead, <laughs> and he continues. Mm. Uh, and uh, when he gets hit, you see the, the Therenodite stagger again, mm. and the, the light uh, at the edges of the room flares uh, as if in response to this. Oh, no. Uh, oh, yeah, you, yeah, you uh, messed up, Yeah, right? so is it 10, is it 4? At this point, you're, I recall that you're not doing too hot on Sandy. You know sanity. what? I'm still, I'm okay. You're not doing I'm bad, like though. 37. It's, it's relative. Yeah. That's bad. You're, you're, I don't know. So your number is bad. It's stressful, though. <laughs> hey, let's do, let's do a D10. Okay. Let's do a D10. This is, a, this is big stuff, hey. right? Hey. 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 hey, not bad. Not bad. Better than you would guess seeing what I'm seeing. <laughs> You like it? It's bad. It's yucky. But yeah, you know. it's bad. It's yucky. It's also, it kind of freaks me out. I'm like, there are four heads in this thing. Yeah. And there, I'm much. like, there are four of us. Mm. That concerns me a little bit. Oh, yeah. Mm. The right number, maybe to make another one of these. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, <laughs> you may not know words, but you sure know math. Yeah. I know. Four, I can count to at least four. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, handy. You... Uh, so the, the, the creature, uh, it looks as though it's going to uh, pulse again, pulse again. Uh, but instead it has uh, hunched down uh, to uh, address the, the, to feed? The, the harmed cultist. It does not feed. It has a set of uh, 
forearms. Like pedipalps or something? Yeah, I mean, they do look like human arms. These, yeah. This thing is composed of repurposed yeah. people. That's your market. And almost like in disgust, it just, it just bats the injured cultist away, <gasps> who collapses to the ground. Uh, and then, um, almost as in worship itself, brings those two hands together, uh, and the green flame grows ever brighter. And now you begin to see at the edges of the room, uh, uh, black begins to descend and, and cover the surfaces. Uh, each of you are possessed of a sense of like a cold of numbness mm. as you are carried elsewhere. What? What? I say, guys, we have to get back to the quad. <laughs> you each awaken on a cold, hard ground, uh, rocky. There's, your eyes are adjusting to the dim light. You're on a vast, featureless plain that is only lit from an odd structure in the center. Some could be a mile away, could be 20 miles away. Uh, but it resembles like a brutalist series of cubes descending from the sky. Uh, as you adjust to the scene, you hear various barks and yips and oh, no. movement around you. And these are the sounds of people. Uh, and you can see in that dim light that they are scavenging, uh, fighting, uh, not conversing, no longer with us as we would recognize a human. Uh, each of you do a uh, sanity check, please. You've been whispering animal welfare. <laughs> she fails again. Stay sane. Nope. What do you think? 62. No, I did not. No. Here, you didn't. Not great? Not great. Okay. That's the thing about sanity. As it gets lower, it's harder. <laughs> sure harder is. Harder. Yeah. They'll get you. Uh, I failed also, so just, you know, let me know how things are going to go for me. Yeah, at this point, if you failed, uh, I'd love for you to take a D20. D20? Oh. What if you didn't fail? You know what? You're yeah. fine. You know hey. what? <clears throat> maybe let's, uh, maybe we'll spend a little luck on that one. Uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll spend five points of luck. Oh, and, uh, I think that's wise. Yeah, I say, well, hmm, okay. Uh, I don't like that, and I don't like this, nope. and I don't like those. Yeah, I, all, I agree. And I like that less than I did the first time I saw it. Do, do, do we have, uh, he's just pointing to the... Oh, yeah, no, theater I'm, the looking, mind. I'm looking I to see the For a second, you look like you're pointing at yourself. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I hate this. I hate myself. I hate this Can creature. This? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what with this coat? Uh, we don't have our guns, I assume, right? No, you, you have them still. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll I'm let you have them. I'm start shooting somehow. Just Some of us over yeah. here failed our sanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, sorry, yeah. do your sanity check stuff. Oh, my God. What's that one? Oof. That's a hot hit. What happens when it's you guys go insane? Do we have to 15. put you down? I have no idea. Oh, my dear Lord. You ain't doing good. All right. Is anybody actually insane? Not quite. No. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. But close. I am uh, almost as far as from insane as you could be. <laughs> God, you're good. You're good He's guy. too dumb to be scared or insane. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> um, you, each of you, so you all look up at this uh, structure, and it, it strikes you that it could, it could be a city. If looked at in the right light, it appears to be... A place. Yes. It, those could be uh, skyscrapers of a kind. There are no windows or anything. 
Is it on a hill? It's not on a hill. As far as you can see, it does not a, a connect to the ground. You don't know where it comes from in the sky. You don't even know that this is sky that you're observing. Um, but you um, are aware that the fortunate ones here who have been called to this place uh, were people once that now live as animals, as, as beasts. As beasts, on without consciousness. Mm. With no consciousness. I think you're right. I think that is the city on the hill. I just think that the hill is inverted somehow. Do we have any idea how we came to be here? Because we certainly still have consciousness. Oh, no. You, you do not know. Uh, but you do have a sense that you're needed here. This is a good place to be. I don't have that sense. Yeah, do I? Are you sure I have that sense? And yet you do. I feel needed here. <laughs> this is a good place to be. <laughs> Actually, you don't think that. <laughs> I, I was kidding. <laughs> no, you don't believe that that's the case. This sucks. Yeah, ew. You don't like this a bit. No, I think there's something. I just feel something. Is it, is it possible that some scrap of occult knowledge might be fruitful here? Yes, I would. Yeah, I think so. That's valid. I don't have it. <laughs> yeah. Not even a drop. I don't have that much luck. So you, uh, there's another mechanic in here uh, called uh, pushing the roll. Tell me more. Uh, in a certain circumstance when it is important, you may attempt the same roll again to see if you succeed. Uh, however, if you fail, then the consequences are dire. And at, at my decision... I'm definitely doing it. <laughs> yeah. You got so much luck. Yeah. I'm definitely doing that. Try, it's, like, yeah. it's like when you go, this is, this, the, the dynamic we have is like the sort of one where you go to a bar and you just tell the bartender to fuck you up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 90. So I, I'm, looking at, I'm, I'm looking at this inverse, uh, you know, bizarre... Uh, mechanical city contraption and I'm just racking my brain trying to just trying to see if there's anything that I have read or anything that would connect to it and I must I, something must just come loose you focus on it um, trying to see if you remember anything that, that would describe this or would relate to this and in, in exploring internally in looking trying to remember Something about that brings it to the surface and before you can form a cohesive thought with it, it just sort of leaves you. And you can tell that it has gone toward the structure, that it was called by the structure. The idea? The idea, mm -hmm. the knowledge. And you have a good sense about that. This knowledge didn't belong to you. It was transient. This is where it should be. It's being collected there. The yes. consciousness. It needs more of it. And the act of recalling and having learned this and thinking pleases it. It, it wants more. You want to give it more. You begin to walk toward it. I say, follow me. I think, I think I remember that was the order. He yeah. goes first, he and then goes, you walk, and I, I follow you. <laughs> but as an international celebrity, I'm a little bit wor worried about uh, intellectual property theft. It's... I think it's a reasonable position. Yeah. I think you're looking at an incredible scenario. This is a place where intellect is property. Oh. This is safer than Fort Knox. Mm. <laughs> but intellect can literally be stolen here. 
Uh, can I use my skill? I, I feel like I've been avoiding my greatest skill, which is acting. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to roll to act like I'm under the thrall of the thing. Ooh. Okay. Sure. That's so cool. <laughs> but also make it kind of funny. <laughs> Where are we at? Uh, 42. I definitely did it. Hey, all right. So you just, like, endummon yourself. Yeah. Endummon? <laughs> uh, you make it a little bit, you put a little silly twist on it. Yeah, I'm like, you, <laughs> uh, Yeah, some uh, nearby cannibals that are feasting on a slain brother uh -huh. <laughs> look up at you and go, that's funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> return to their meal. They return to that femur. Yeah. And then, the, and then the knowledge of how to act is removed. Oh, shit. Uh -oh. You are no longer burdened by it. What a relief. What a blessing. What a blessing it is to be here, friends. What joy. So near. So near. Can and Evelyn you... offer up the knowledge of how pigs are murdered in the uh, <laughs> in the, She's gonna use it in the bleaker family? Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. you can just prune your yeah. consciousness. Here, take this. Oh, you have only to think of it, and all of these horrible images are gone. I don't even remember. Blissful, incredible. How do you feel, Donald? What's going on over here? Well, you tell me, because am I? Is this affecting? It's, it hasn't yet, but you do now see that the three of them are beginning to, they're not like marching towards that, that, yeah. that light under this city. But they're kind of, their body language is very differential. So in terms of everything around, there's this spire or, or tower far off in the distance. Mm -hmm. We're surrounded by deformed yeah, monster gibbering. animals. Yeah. Is there anything in any other direction? This is no. the only point of... That's it. <laughs> you have a lot of reason to believe that it's more of this in every direction. It's yeah. just there's no light source. Yeah. Um, I, I like to think he's too dumb to have any like real thoughts other than like, mm, what's my next meal? Money, money, food, sleep. <laughs> just like instinct. He is, and he's an animal as much as you can I be mean, an animal. A, so that's so why the, he's unaffected. Yeah. yeah. Say so it already likes him. Fine. The cultists actually should be worshiping him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, with nothing, no other, like, like impetus or, like, uh, any sort of uh, uh, um, stimulus, <laughs> it's like, all right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there isn't really any stimulation here, no. except for just these creatures no. trying to murder and eat each other. He's not, he's not going because it's affecting him. He's just going because it's something to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you're all you're all walking then, maybe in in marching order. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I'm. I'm, I'm Although I'm going last now, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Last. I'm definitely I'm definitely leading the pack. Like, yeah. it's all in there. Everything that we need is in there. And so I'm we're just gonna once we get there, it should be fine. And I'm gripping the gun. I'm all about the gun. Gun and rifle you in the hand. Handgun hand in the pocket. That. Yeah. As as the four of you uh, march toward that that uh, these these brutalist structures in the sky. Uh, you begin to feel, each of the three of you, you begin to feel more things being taken from you. Just more fetters. More things that you, you once thought you needed, but as soon as they're gone, you never know you had them in the first place. You don't miss them. Driving frat yeah. boys. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much every one of these, the skills here. <laughs> just I'm in like, alphabetical uh, order, ticked off. I'm mm -hmm. like looking around and like scratching my butt. And just like, yeah. you guys feeling all right? Everyone good? <laughs> the three of you begin to move with a, a, a slightly more affected gait uh, until such time as you feel comfortable to maybe drop to your hands as well and use them for emotion. Use them to walk forward too. To crawl, perhaps. <laughs> Donald, you feel pulls at certain ideas. Yeah. Skeet shooting. Pigs. Yeah. Beverages. 
they, they seem to be put delicately back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just walking with you three as you are all on fours. And I go, this is weird, guys. But, I mean... I mean, if everybody's doing it. At this you... point, who the three of you are, are no longer in these bodies. They have been repurposed uh, almost like subroutines in a much larger program, a storehouse. The three of your forms uh, scamper off in, any, in various directions. And, uh, what? <laughs> and, uh, I go, wait! <laughs> and Donald, you are there uh, on this barren plain, clutching your gun. This is horrible. All right, yeah, this is terrible. <laughs> and that is the end. <laughs> Thank you so much, my lovely players. I appreciate each of you. Nice work, man. Thank that you was for great. Coming. That was great. Chris Stroud, everybody. Bless him. That's all. Good night. Good night. Hey, good night. Um, uh, hey, uh, before you leave, if you thought that was fun, you can create. You can cook. Uh, truly gruesome adventures like this at home uh, with the Call of Cthulhu starter set. It's available at the Chiasium booth. They are here at the show. 10% uh, off Call of Cthulhu products with the code that will materialize very, very soon on the screen. There she is. Uh, Appian plays Cthulhu up there. And of course, uh, Acquisitions Incorporated Clank Legacy is still available at the merch booth should you be interested in it. Thank you so much for the inaugural episode of Acquisitions Incorporated, <laughs> Call of Cthulhu. Good night.